scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Then he brought me out of the way of the gate northwards and led me about the way without unto the utter gate that looked eastward and behold there ran out waters on the right side verse 3 and when the man that had a line in his hands went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits and he brought me through the waters and he says the waters were to my ankles verse 4 he says again after a season of proving after a season of dealing he saw a need to step up the grace and he said and again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters he says and the waters were to my knees verse 4 again we're not done verse 4 please help us again he measured a thousand cubits and he brought me through and the waters were to my loin verse 5 afterwards he measured a thousand and he said it was a river that I could not pass over he says for the waters were risen waters to swim in a river that could not be passed over let's read verse 9 verse 9 he says and it shall come to pass listen the implication of the encounter with that river. It says, it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth, whithersoever the river shall come, it says, shall live. Then it says, and there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come hither, for they shall be healed, and everything shall live, whither the river cometh. That means it's, it's a river that will bring effect. It will be so striking. The Bible says whenever the river comes to a region, everything that is supposed to be alive, that is dead, that river has capacity to bring it back to life. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy. Holy. and the people say holy 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 and the people say holy 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 hallelujah the last one month has been a season of profound encounters for me profound encounters um I cannot begin to describe to you the experiences that I've had in the last one month. Very profound and deep spiritual experiences. Please pay attention. And the Lord began to show me so many things. Not just the prophetic word, but direction for the body of Christ that will be able to bring alignment. We thank God as a ministry for what he has used this ministry to do to influence the life of people across this nation we thank God for the testimonies 
But let me tell you something. Compared to what God is about to do, what you have seen are just shadows. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to be a believer this year. Make up your mind to believe every word that comes from the mouth of God. The Bible says they heard the word just like we did. It says, but the word did not profit them. Make up your mind that you will not argue with the word of God this year. Don't sit down and be philosophical. How shall these things be? The river will just pass you by. You've got to be determined this year and say, Lord, every word that comes from you, I will receive it and insist that it produces results in my life. Hallelujah. God is a God that walks on earth with times and seasons. And he has communicated to us as a family of faith that he intends to multiply the grace, the anointing, the access that he has given us and to give us influence. Grace talks of empowerment. Grace talks of access. Grace talks of ability. Grace talks of the anointing, the very ability of God. It's important for us to understand this. The grace of God talks of his capacity, his anointing, his ability. That force that compels results. Scripture lets us know that grace can be multiplied. That grace is in measures. Listen please. The Bible says grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Grace and peace be multiplied. That means a man can grow in grace. A ministry can grow in grace. Prophetically revealing to us in Ezekiel 47 that he started with the river at the level of the ankle. Then to the knees then to the loins and then it was a river that covered the prophet and he says that river flowed to regions and every territory that river entered it began to cause changes it caused that which was dead to come alive i want you to know that grace can be multiplied every level you have seen in god is only a shadow of the possibility that is in god are we together every level of grace you have seen if you think you saw the power of god in 2015 watch what god does this year if you think you saw miracles signs and wonders if you think you saw the dispensing of the word of god watch what he does this year grace can multiply grace can multiply and let me tell you something when grace multiplies it has a physical effect there is an evidence there's no such thing as grace multiplying and you are the only one who knows. No. When grace multiplies, everything around you responds to the effect of that multiplication. Grace can multiply. Grace can multiply. That's why you can see a man and track his life and know that grace has multiplied. You can see a man of God and see the dispensing of the grace of God upon his life and you can study the track record of that growth. You can know that a man started at this level, but at this current level, he's functioning at an altitude in the spirit that was not what he... Just like you can know that a man has backslidden. You can know that a man was functioning at this dimension of grace. But right now, he's still functioning, but you know that there has been a lag in the operation of the spirit. Grace and peace be multiplied. The energy of God, the ability of the Spirit, the power of the Holy Ghost that can be resident within a man, compelling results. He said it can multiply. Everything that is alive grows. If the power of God is alive, it can grow in a man. Hallelujah. The healing anointing can multiply. The wisdom of God can multiply. The grace for finances can multiply access to deep realities in the spirit can multiply the eyes to see and the ears to hear can multiply and this is the season god intends to multiply everything 
every operation of the spirit you have seen hallelujah influence is the ability the ability to compel the ideology of a man the ideology of a people the ideology of a territory the ability to compel the ideology of a territory to bend towards a particular direction without using human force and cruelty is called influence if i'm able to do something to you that compels you to adjust to my paradigm of thinking that's an influence i like the 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 uh, um, the um, poster that was created by the media department you see that match the, the matches one having the fire and all he needs to do is go close enough he will compel all the rest to catch that fire we call that influence the ability to cause men to buy into your ideologies to institutionalize your ideology such that even those who do not agree with you will be compelled to walk in that reality this is what influence is the Bible says it was noised abroad that Jesus was in town. And all kinds of people found themselves around. Those who didn't like him. Those who were critics. Those who were indifferent. Those who were passionately loyal. For reasons they could not explain. They found themselves. The Bible says he went up the mountain. They still followed him. That's influence. Listen. The key to kingdom advancement it's not just evangelism as we know the key to kingdom advancement is influence the ability to bring a territory under like a spell you bring a territory under an understanding you compel people to think in a certain way you compel the economy of a territory to operate in a certain trajectory it's called influence did you know that there is a level of influence you can exert on a territory such that even those who do not believe in god will be forced to adopt certain languages in their english because that becomes the language of communication it's called influence once upon a time there were no networks in nigeria not one aside from nitel but a communications company came and marketed a proposal and right now it has become an addiction people literally cry when their phones get missing and they are on their way to go and do welcome back they, they have they have influenced you so much they created a package called welcome back in other words when you run away i create a provision to come under my spell now that's influence there are people in the village who cannot spell jesus but they know coca-cola influence every tribe in the world knows coca-cola the name is coca-cola no tribe calls anything by their own it's called coca-cola the three most influential names brands right in the world although it's been upgraded now number one is jesus number two michael jackson before he died number three coca-cola think about that right now the most influential brand in the world is google apple followed by google the kingdom of god will have to ascend in such a way and a manner that it will no longer just be one-on-one -on -one evangelism the territory forces people all roads must lead to the cross all roads no matter how people try to do it We come to a point where our thoughts become that which is aligned to the kingdom. The songs become that which is aligned to the kingdom. If they must crack any joke, it must have a paradigm with the kingdom. You won't do... See, the difference between the Holy Spirit and Saddam Hussein is this. Both of them try to exact influence. But one 
brings his influence with physical threats are we together but the holy ghost reveals to you the excellency of his way are you getting the point now he shows you the all surpassing superiority of walking with him there is a level give us micah chapter 4 please one and two and then i begin to explain to us very quickly the things that the lord has put in my heart micah chapter 4 one and two it's a scripture that speaks powerfully about the prophetic state of the church can we read it together one to read but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the lord shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills it says and people shall what flow to it listen he never said they will call the people look at this he never said they will call the people something will happen upon that mountain that will force people literally it's a compelling power they will flow to it he says and how many nations please help me how many nations it says and many nations shall come and say come let us go where will the evangelism happen among themselves an ability will make them to start drawing themselves and say come let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of the god of jacob he says and he will what teach us he will change our mindsets he will adjust our ideologies he says and we will walk in his path for the lord shall go forth from zion and the word of the lord from jerusalem this is what will happen let me tell you the church is not a weakling there is an energy and the ability of the ecclesia god's very church we will arise in a mighty way and shock creation the key is not to take the world i see a lot of people dreaming and say i'm going to take every world i tell them that's not how when god says you will take over the earth the key is to create a prototype of your agenda in a territory that's the key the kingdom always spreads like a seed there are people who have not done well where god where they are domiciled and they are thinking of no 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 the key is to plant a prototype of your ideology and that becomes the platform the template from which you will influence other territories you must jesus christ came to israel jerusalem created a prototype of his life and then compelled certain people called the sent ones and began to send them through regions so everywhere they went they were envoys of those ideologies backed up by the government that sent them this is the key to strategic kingdom advancement let me tell you something it's not just by traveling planting a church in london uk there's a time and a place for that but the greatest key to maximum influence is to be able to represent the ideology of, a, of the Christ so strategically in a region that every other region can look at it as a template. That's how Hillsong spread abroad. They stood in Australia and did something so striking. This year, Zaria will be a place of pilgrimage. I tell you, you will see week after the same way you go to Jerusalem. Write this down. You will see people trooping in just waiting because it is the mountain of the lord the place where god has chosen to build his habitation it's an election of grace are we together isaiah chapter 60 let's start from verse 1 but my focus is 3 Isaiah 60 arise he says shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you verse 2 for behold, darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people. He says, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. 
don't ever let anything you read on the newspaper scare you this year god has shown me this year it's a glorious year for the church write it down believe me i'm telling you it's it's not a it, it has never been a thing of confusion about the drop in oil price and all of these things this is something we said years ago and we're insulted for it but let me tell you you will see the glory of the church emerge see satan moves by ministering fear fear is a spirit are we together now and the bible tells us that as a man thinketh so he is and so the media while in a in in a state of sincerity to address what they call the state of the nation have gone to market an ideology that makes people think oh this year i don't know about you but this year is a year for me of multiplied grace and influence the bible says when you see darkness that rejoicing is a sign there will be a separation this year like egypt and goshen that on one side there was darkness but then on another side they were not even aware of what was happening ah don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy he said when men say that means you are not men when men say there is a casting down those who have been altered by ability of the spirit will say there is a lifting up i refuse to make any declaration that is against the word of god no government no newspaper will deceive me into agreeing with the agenda of darkness for behold the darkness shall cover the earth listen it says and gross darkness the people but upon but the lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you oh hallelujah let's read verse 3 this is my scripture goodness it says and gentle shall what stop it didn't say i will go and call them Makatala Sotaya. something will happen upon my life this year the wisdom of the spirit the multiplication of his grace he says it will compel gentiles they will come by themselves gentiles will come not to you to your light something you carry will compel attention it has nothing to do with whether they like you or not there is a level of prosperity you can enter there is a level of the anointing access to the dimensions of the spirit it will compel nations to come and then it gets better it says and their kings those that represent governments those that represent mountains it says their kings will come your light will start rising listen was it not in your bible when solomon's glory started rising every other person came but the queen of sheba refused to come she had a pride but that light was so bright the queen of sheba had to take gifts and come and say who is this solomon listen the bible says when she came to solomon she saw the arrangement of his table and saw everything she said half of what was told me he said i was not told half of what i'm seeing now he said when she saw everything there was no spirit in her it's god's ability god's ability is working in me is working in me it's god's ability god's ability is working in me shake up on about that about so to it's God's ability. God's ability. It is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Mm, we are believers in this place. We are believers in this place listen this is the year you must take god seriously when god speaks he's not your lecturer he's not suggesting when god speaks he's not your boss in office when god speaks he looks at himself first whether he can defend what he's about to say and then he will say it 
he speaks on the strength of his might have you not read that god looked in heaven to find who was greater than him because he wanted to make a dangerous statement that he could not lie so he was looking for a witness that was greater than him and not finding any he swore by himself what is our expectation in this season some of these things i'm going to be reading out were the exact words of the lord as it came to me the lord told me that in this season he will be granting us supernatural access to the following please write supernatural access to number one revelations there will be a depth of revelation we will break into a spiritual fountain of revelation hallelujah and this is the scripture of the lord in fact it, it was before the scripture came it was an impression upon my heart and the bible tells us remember in scripture listen please remember in scripture when the bible says two men at a place called emmaus they were walking and jesus was with them but they did not know he was the one that the word is near you does not mean you understand it that you are reading it they were with jesus the christ the living word the resurrected christ he was walking with them but they did not know he was the one listen many people just carry bible and think they are growing spiritually others think because they are looking at it they convince themselves that they are growing others have memory verses and crime verses which is not bad but they think because of it is a sign that they are growing and the bible says when they were at table he broke the bread and their eyes were open listen this is the year god will give us access to light light illumination illumination it says you will arise and shine for your light is come not because you are tired of sitting down there is a light that god will give you that will drive out certain darkness in your life forever forever he will give us access to anointings there are graces there are abilities of the spirit brothers and sisters please hear me there is nobody who is doing great things for god who does it by the strength of the flesh no no there is an anointing that is responsible for every result you see in the kingdom there is an anointing it's not about struggling there is a grace your own labor is to enter that dimension but once you are there you are there are we together there is a level of grace that god wants to multiply in your life not just please personalize this thing i'm taking out time to teach it because i want you to believe it you must believe that in my life there is a level of grace there is a level of the anointing the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference it doesn't make the difference the anointing is the difference a handkerchief with the anointing upon all of a sudden becomes supernatural a donkey with an anointing upon it all of a sudden becomes a prophet oh come on the anointing is never trivialize the anointing and the effect of it in your life there are doors only certain kinds of graces can open are we together we must believe god to multiply anointings in our lives God will give us access to people very important God will give us access to resources God will give us access to opportunities to the end that we will birth greater levels of salvation encounters transformation and revival he will supply all these things to the end that will be able to birth through the spirit greater levels of salvation greater levels of encounters greater levels of transformation greater levels of revival there's an army rising up. 
There's an army rising up in this very season. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain, break every chain. They will break every chain. Please write it down quickly. There are five areas that I want us to focus on this year. Please listen. Five areas, very quickly. For us to maximize the prophetic word that the Lord has given. There are five areas that the Lord would want us to focus and pay attention. Number one, on our spiritual growth. The first area of focus that you must contend in the spirit. That there must be multiplication of grace. Is on your spiritual growth please listen this year there will be multiplied grace for notable spiritual progress are, are you listening to me that you can look by December and know that you 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 entered a dimension in the spirit there must be notable spiritual growth in your life this year please make sure you write it down God is releasing grace for notable spiritual growth. You must increase your passion for God. I'm teaching you how to maximize the demands on your own path. You must, you must take advantage of this grace and increase your passion for God. Increase your passion for the things of God. And increase your passion for the house of God. This is not the year where you miss koinonia anyhow for reasons say there was rain or my cloth there was no iron to I no 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 there must be a desperation for god a desperation for the things of god a desperation for the house of god it was david that said i'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house have you read that scripture that he so passionately loved the house of god listen the foundation of the quality experience of the prophetic word of the lord this year is hinged upon your increased passion for god god told me something and i'm going to say it exactly as he said this is what he said he said tell my people to give me time and take me seriously i wrote it down tell my people to give me time god is asking for time this year listen because all you have in your life is time Whoever you give your time to, you have given your life to. So don't say you have given your life to God and not give him time. This is not the year of miserly time. You, you, you sleep for 10 hours, use 10 hours watching films, which is alright. But this is the year you must invest in his presence. Invest in his presence like a business and see the returns that comes from you. increased passion for God your passion must increase for spiritual activities prayer and fasting the study of the word this is not the year for laziness is God speaking to us your prayer life must jack back if 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 you know your prayer life is dying please don't let anybody deceive you there is trouble are we together if anything that attacks your prayer life in 2016 is the greatest attack from the kingdom of darkness men ought always to pray Luke 18 verse 1 he spake a parable to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint prayer is the place where people generate strength and capacity you can know when a man has the absence of prayer there is nothing that can replace the energy that prayer brings. Please give God time. Tell your neighbor, give God time this year. Talk to him. Talk to him seriously. Give God time. It's a strong admonition. Say, give God time in 2016. Don't be busy looking for money. Running around looking for money. Looking for job. Thank God for those things. There is a place for them. But brothers and sisters, I call you to a place where you will hit the jackpot for this year. Invest in his presence. The presence of God will give you what money will never give you. 
I know we used to nod when I said, but many of us don't believe it. His presence. Prayer and fasting. Don't eat away your destiny this year. Prayer and fasting. Quality fasting done with revelation, not compulsion to prove to people. No, 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 no. Don't allow religion to destroy you this year. But you must pray. Brothers and sisters, maximize your night time. I've taught you this thing. It's just that many, you see, Ba, many of us don't take seriously the word of the Lord that comes. If you are obedient to the truth of God's word, you'll be amazed to see the results in your life. Maximize your night times. I have learned this. It's a mystery of tremendous spiritual power. The Bible says, and the evening came and the morning. He never mentioned morning before evening. There is a mystery of the night time. You are alone with worship. Even if it's for 30 minutes. People are snoring around and you are praying. Lord, I establish realities. I command my morning. I decree and declare it's my year of supernatural influence. It's my year of multiplied grace. And you are speaking and inspiration is coming. And you are writing, you soak yourself in worship. You create like a spiritual magnetic field. You get up in the morning and you are compelling things that people cannot understand. Do you not know that the morning is like a woman that has a womb? Go and read your Bible. It was a prophet that let us know that things can be planted in the womb of the morning. It gives the morning the character of a woman. And just like a man plants a seed in the womb of his wife and expects her to deliver, the delivery time is your daytime. The night is when you impregnate your day with prophecy and allow it to deliver to you realities. Many people, let me tell you, the engine room of real power is to pray your secret place, especially night prayers. And you walk in the morning and you encounter miracles and breakthroughs. He told Job, Has thou commanded thy morning, not has thou commanded thy night? Hallelujah. This year, you must invest in quality teaching and materials. Please get all the koinonia messages you can. Some of us pride ourselves around distributing koinonia messages to people which is very good but never listen to it ourselves you carry it around and you are happy to be a, a, an, a, an evangelist you are distributing it around ah you mean you know apostle ah, ah apostle i can't even call him now you are busy marketing which is okay but you are dying don't forget the bible says let it not be that i haven't preached i myself god knows how many times i sit down and soak in koinonia messages I'm blasting in tongues and listening to them. And where Apostle Joshua Selman is prophesying, I get down on my knees and I'm receiving it for my life. Please take your destiny seriously. There is a message for everything. Every major thing you are looking for. You find out that the flesh is growing in you. There is a message. Locate one. Flog yourself back. To alignment you are dying spiritually find a message you are having one a get miracle service message and fast forward it to the place where prophecy started and see please engage the word this year tell your neighbor engage the word do it engage the word the same way you engage a man in a conversation put pressure on the word to produce results for you don't sit down and say, oh, if God wants it to work, I've been doing it. No, you are not. Work it. Work it. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. So your spiritual life. I'm determined this year that my spiritual life will enter a dimension that has never been. God has shown me the possibilities. He can go with me if I'm, if I'm interested. And he asked me whether I'm interested. What do you think my answer is? My goodness. Lead me, Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, 
I will go You have called me And I will answer Lead me Lord I will go God is calling us to a higher level Never be satisfied with where you are are you hearing what I'm saying? Please write it down. Write it. I refuse to be satisfied with where I am. I know you've seen some results in your spiritual life. You've seen the prophetic grace. You've seen uh, an anointing. You've seen some level of result. But it's child's play compared to where God wants to take you. If you are interested and you stay through with God, he will surprise you this year. James chapter 4 verse 8 says that when we draw near to him, he says he will draw near to us. When you draw near to him, you must take that step with expectation. The second area of focus this year for us to maximize this prophetic word is the area of mental transformation. Mental transformation. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Listen, listen. I've taught us again and again that the quality of a man's life is at the mercy of his ideology. This year, I want us to insist that we are going to lay aside every stumbling block we've held on to that is stopping us. Please, those outside, I hope we are listening. Can you shout hallelujah, those outside? Praise the Lord. Make sure that you pay the price take advantage of the grace of God and contend for transformation the Bible says and be not conformed to this world the Greek word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with this age be not conformed it says refuse it, reject it reject their way of talking reject their behavior reject their way of responding to life it's a choice he says be not conformed to this world then he says but be ye transformed right transform how by the renewing of your mind that's what the bible says that we are transformed not by wishing by the renewing of our minds focus on sustaining a renewed and transformed mind focus don't say it's like that everybody in your family th that poverty mindset must die a natural death this year you must reject it let them hate you no problem reject it don't let people carry their failure and bring it upon you as an impartation don't let anybody tell you financial prosperity is not important don't let anybody tell you doing well in your life is not important you never replace one dimension of kingdom progress for another you can know god and still be poor are we together you can be praying in tongues and still be a bad husband there must be balance that's the true church that is shown to us in revelations 19. you can listen to my message the full gospel i've always frowned at the exaggeration of the body of christ emphasizing one truth to the detriment of another so i'm teaching you on spiritual growth and forgetting the fact that you have children to feed you have school fees to pay no god is not that kind of god there must be a balance he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth no exaggeration that's the true church i will never be the preacher who will mislead you to emphasize one area of spiritual growth at the detriment of another you will get balance so that it is okay to serve god and be rich are we together it is okay to serve god and be a ceo and lead we keep preaching all these um religious messages in church that move people closer to god and draw them away from the world and then we become victims of the decisions of those who control these mountains but in this season we reject it we are going like daniels with the anointing of the spirit but we will still enter the system the great commission was go ye into the world not carry a truck to the streets that's all right but he said enter the system go ye into cosmos and influence it with an ideology that's the gospel 
but you can never rise above and beyond a transformed mind please believe me when i tell you your level of ri life right now is what your mindset has produced for you this is uncomfortably true you must believe it there is something about your understanding that is keeping you where you are from entitlement mentality that makes us believe it is government that should pay us right to those who believe that all they need to succeed in life is to get a job is that really true a job is wonderful i pray for you at the end of the service i'll pray for you but let me tell you a job cannot fund your assignment you know that right a job cannot build a house for you a job can only help you to barely survive exactly what satan wants barely survive so that you never hear god you never sow seeds you never give you are so busy making money you don't have time for the agenda of god i reject that kind of living in the name of jesus christ mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man oh god i'm i'm i'm, I'm strange to this kind of experience but god said the power of the highest that's how it will happen so don't sit down wondering will god really change my story will god really wipe my tears are you kidding you've forgotten the god who can change people he said by this time tomorrow listen i believe god oh i told you in this year make sure you insist on being a believer that i receive the word of god don't let the enemy come and steal the seed which is the word of god in january we can all believe two weeks after now you find a lot of people frowning at their convictions as though they were playing games in church mental transformation you must lay down wrong and limiting ideologies lay them down ideologies that let you think that you cannot be a leader where you are ideologies that train you to do things that are not consistent with the ways of god is devilish and you must lay it down my father is wicked it's not only your father many fathers have been wicked but people triumph through that wickedness are we together nobody likes me you are not alone you are never alone you are plenty that people don't like you have to stop giving excuses tell your neighbor say stop giving excuses stop explaining why you should not move forward there are so many people they will explain to you if only i had space i had a room to myself my prayer life will be back now that you don't have what will you do with the one that is there you must create a strategy i would have fasted but the truth is the way my nutrition is i'm not even sure it's not like i have i understand the program it's just as it comes no those things are flimsy excuses take away those limiting mindsets i live a very supernatural life i don't see impossibility in my life and i don't say it just as a, a, a way of motivation i really do i don't see impossibilities in my life i'm only limited by the voice of the spirit the bible said can two walk together except they are you and the holy spirit cannot work together if you don't agree with him god is telling you this is what i open up before you are you willing and you say holy spirit is just because you didn't grow up in my family uh, hey. lay your hands on your head and pray for one minute and say lord everything that is resident in my mind that is not of you must give way please pray please pray for as he thinketh in his heart so he is please pray pray out every limiting belief oh i believe god for anything he can take me anywhere he can lift me from the dunghill this i believe he can crown me with honor and glory this i believe he can bring an anointing in my life i refuse to let my background limit me i refuse to let the awareness of where i come from 
and what has happened in my life limit me those outside are you praying lay your hands on your head i reject it every negative mindset tying down my life every negative mindset tying down my business every negative mindset tying down my education are you praying this is the year i call the devil a liar i reject him i reject him i reject that word it's a choice i choose to believe god i choose to believe god hallelujah don't ever sit back and allow the devil destroy you listen everything you see did not just happen by mistake it takes a man to see what others are not seeing to go where others will not go this is the year don't let people talk you down and lie to you it will take your faith you must believe believe in god and commit yourself don't be afraid of making mistakes are you hearing what i'm saying don't be afraid of making mistakes don't live in this this carefree world where everybody say take it easy and they kill you god is inspiring you to start up a business that can bail your family and people are saying take it easy you know the way nigeria is well please let me tell you something if you if you talk and live like them you will die like them are we together somebody looks at you as a student and says you are 1.5 are you aware of that yet every time you sleep you see god doing great things in your life how shall these things be this is the year to believe and one way to believe is to run away from all those naysayers there are people who are negative by default they are your enemies this year make sure you run away from them intentionally you say why are you running away from us it's like you are running it's not like i am running i'm leaving you i intend to grow listen listen all this loyalty to people who will destroy your life we were childhood friends so what i intend to grow any man that is not seeing what i'm seeing should not be working with me are we together come let me use you for instance okay you're you a cameraman come watch this turn all right move forward let's all move forward go go, go. Move forward look at this his forward is not my forward are we together we are all attempting to move forward it just so happens that for some reason he is unwilling to bend to my direction i'm not your enemy i'm just not going where you are going i'm not saying where you are going is wrong i'm just saying it's not my address are we together please this is the year you must sustain courage to look at people and say no I, i'm not a musician i'm not against your music ministry but god didn't call me to sing please don't force me to do rehearsal when i'm sleeping i'm a businessman i love your music may god anoint you i will encourage you when i make the money i will support your album but for now let me focus listen listen i know we are laughing you think i'm playing this came out of the secret place days of intense fasting with full concentration not laughing around it's amazing how many people never make it because of distraction you're on your way going to do something you are there singing and god is saying I, I already prepared people see when you are not in your assigned place you will always feel secondary you will find everybody there and not find a space for yourself you now get up and say i'm into logistics you want to be like aaron it's not working later you say i think i like her look settle down this year re-edit your mind and find where god has placed you and die there tell yourself if you die i will die there stop escorting men visionlessly even as a pastor this is the year to know exactly what god told you your assignment is not the great commission are we together the great commission is for everybody settle and find what is the grace what anointing god what did you tell me oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 o
it unto the Lord. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 Still on point two, let's hurry up. Lay aside wrong behavioral traits. We are still on that point two, mental transformation. First Peter 2 verse 1, please give it to us quickly. First Peter 2 verse 1. Anger, envy, pride, bitterness, dishonor, all these traits that have kept you down. This is the year you make up your mind, I'm not gossiping about people. Because I found out everybody I'm gossiping about has moved forward and left me alone. This year, I want to move forward. At least let somebody talk about me. The Bible says, wherefore? Doing what? Laying aside. Laying aside. All malice and guile and hypocrisies and envies and what? Evil speaking. There are some people when you sit down close to them, five minutes your spirit is down. Because they, they have what we call evil speakings. Always bad news. Always what someone said. No, you must change. You must change. Anger, you must lay it aside this year. God opened a door, your anger closed it. God opened a door, your anger closed it. Your husband was coming, your anger drove him. Your wife was almost arriving, your anger sent her away. This year, make up your mind that anger will not destroy my destiny. There are people who, do, you were at the verge of breakthroughs, but this anger, rage, ha, that's how we are in our family. I ask my mother, we're all like that. When we're angry, just stay away, please. I want you to maximize this multiplied grace. The one you had last year, it has increased now. So there's no excuse. Maximize the grace and say no to anger. Because it will destroy you. Envy. Envy. You never do anything with your life. You watch people have results and you are looking for what they do. Let me tell you something about envy. It never affects the one who you are talking about or the one you are envious. It's, it's such a frustrating venture. It doesn't touch the bear. Even if it, at least let it touch it. It's better to fight directly, fight him. You sit down and tie yourself down. And then the unfortunate thing is the Bible says the part of the justice has a shining light. So for how long will you hold it? Envy, pride. This year, as a family of faith and as individuals, we must run away from pride. Brothers and sisters, pride is a killer. Are we together believing you can make it without god looking down on others pushing people down to show you are successful no lay it down bitterness there are people who just say i'm not happy why say this world is a sad world hey you have a long journey a long journey to go say i'm just sad why is everywhere like this the place is moody and the devil says this is exactly what I'm looking for this year. I choose to be joyful. The Bible says rejoice always. It didn't say rejoice when you have money. Rejoice always. And in case you forget, again I say rejoice. Number three. The third area the Lord wants us to focus on is our health. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 12 to 20. We don't have the time to read it our health the bible tells you authoritatively that your body is the temple of the lord jesus christ right everyone say it say my body is the temple of the holy spirit say one more time my body is the temple of the holy spirit listen it honors god for you to take care of your body are we together this year the way you punished your body in 2015 you have to rethink this year. Are we together? It's very important. 
you must live a healthy and a balanced life no laziness and no overstressing yourself that's the balance there are those who are sluggish and lazy spiritually it flows down intellectually it now culminates physically inertia for everything it takes you two days to do what five minutes can do laziness is still an insult to the body and then overstressing yourself hallelujah when you read about the wealth revival you will know that what killed the pioneer of the wealth revival was not necessarily any demonic attack he literally stretched himself to death no matter how busy you are i believe that if i'm not mistaken i probably will may be one of the busiest people among us here but you must still create time to rest you may not have quantity of time but you must have quality eat well god is faithful please eat well this year don't punish yourself you need to add one more ingredient that you just look and say if i add this no what if you don't add it and you die you see you, you think intelligently this year please please we are at different levels but pay serious attention to your health when you really fall sick you will find out that all you have is time and your life are we together you can have all the money in this world if you play with your health MOG all the men of God here listen please find time to rest walk your life out but rest when you preach they will mourn you for seven days and people will continue preaching are we together i shared with you my story when the lord delivered me and showed me told me to look at the crucifix and for the first time i realized i did not die for the world no my name is not jesus my name is joshua selman the hebrew joshua means jehoshua yes jesus but i am not jesus of nazareth my father was not a carpenter and so I realized that I am an ambassador, not the Christ. So you must rest. One of the most comforting scriptures for me, because everything, once there's no scriptural backing, I don't believe it. It says, and God rested. Come on now. Not an angels, and God. Whether you call it sleeping, or season from work i know that at that period he didn't do anything do it he said let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus it's not just the mind to walk it's the mind to rest how many people go to hospitals today and doctors tell them honestly there's nothing wrong they say look i know what i'm the one feeling what is wrong they said there's nothing we've checked just rest and they go back and rest and they get up strong sleep is a mystery are you hearing what i'm saying sleep is a mystery god used it to do a lot of things you can still advance the kingdom even as you rest it was in adam's sleep that eve came it was in jacob's sleep that he had a dream it was in joseph's sleep that he had direction for where to run away with jesus sometimes after you have worshiped and run around sleep your way into the revelation that you wake up with and it will move you oh yes absolutely if jacob did not sleep he would never know that was the gate of heaven his senses were alive looking for breakthrough and sleep and he saw angels if sleep will give me an encounter i will sleep because i need it i need serious encounters this year if you don't see it when you are awake why don't you sleep eat well rest well your personal hygiene th that's all right your personal hygiene i won't talk much there i'm not a medical practitioner but i'm one who intends to live long listen listen take care of yourself and your personal hygiene please don't say it does not matter do not let the financial situation in your pocket reflect in your life and your body you live anyhow you wear clothes smelling sweat all around you don't care you just smell it and say is it too bad your neighbor smells and no no don't just laugh i have to say it i have the responsibility to say it i've told us about that bathing you do with three-quarter bucket 
somebody as tall as me you run and enter and while you are talking in less than one your phone is ringing before it finishes ringing five or six times you are out <laughs> my brother you didn't bath I, I assure you you didn't bath if that's what you have been doing it must change your health food that has spoiled you are there eat he said you are i can still warm it if it has spoiled let it go we are still going to have miracle services but i'm saying we can minimize casualties for nothing <laughs> hallelujah number four number four please write number four the fourth area finances god wants us to focus and experience multiplied grace deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9 it's our year of multiplied grace and influence and that even in the area of finances very quickly deuteronomy 29 verse 9 I'd like us to read everyone please one to read what's the condition he said keep keep therefore keep these words of this covenant and he said do them he didn't just say keep them in your jot and leave them there he said do them practice them in truth he says that you must prosper write the following to guide us through our finances number one set clear financial goals set clear financial goals this year and work with the holy spirit to achieve them i want to be rich is a mirage you you'll never get blessed that way i want to be rich will never get you rich listen there is a mystery about writing and clarity the Bible says, write the vision. Then it says, make it plain. What is your financial target? Don't, don't write foolish, childish things. I need one bill. No, 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 no. Start gradually. Faith is not stupidity. Start gradually. Write something that is able to take you from where you are to the next level. Don't say, how will it come? Leave that. That's not your business. you get frustrated when you are thinking of how it will come. The Bible says, just like you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child, nor the way of the wind. You don't know how the wind comes. You don't know how a seed becomes bones in a child. Is that not a mystery? That a woman carries a seed and within the space of nine months, that seed becomes bones, hard bones. Becomes teeth that can stay for, for hundreds of years and not just disintegrate and leave. That's a mystery. He said, that one, leave it to God your job is to get the seed in the womb of the woman the remaining activity is god's work there are certain things about the equation of success you can never understand there is a mystery in it that is exclusive to the office of god trying to understand it will frustrate you brothers and sisters keep your own part and watch the miracle work out. set clear financial goals what is your financial goal for this year as a ministry we have financial goals in my personal life i have financial goals you must set financial goals number two to experience that grace in your finances master the laws of favor and abundance master the laws that govern the release of favor and abundance favor is a law preachers have said favor happens anyhow is a lie is a lie favor it is the the dispensing of favor that happens automatically favor is initiated by exact spiritual laws that can be understood and reproduced it may take time see i'm human i know that it's not easy but i'm telling you if you master those laws you have built yourself out from this mess that is eating up the earth master the laws of favor you can get the teachings financial dominion part one to four and the wealthy place part one to four please make sure you get these teachings sit with them sit with them understand what god has said and then practice the laws do them 
he said now that you know these things he said happy are you when you do them you've got to do them you've got to do them the laws of tithing i want you to pay attention to four laws when it comes to giving this year your tithing please look up let me preach to you i want you to be determined this year that you are going to be faithful in tithing first and foremost because you love the lord and second because you want to activate the operation of the blessing in your life don't say i'm poor how much do i have how much do i give god that's your way out that's your way out never forget i already shared with us that your tithing is like a spiritual circumcision remember our teaching the wealthy place that your tithing is a spiritual circumcision that authorizes god to come and partner with you Melchizedek the high priest received the tithe of Abraham and did what? He spoke the blessing over him. And the Bible says Christ today is our Melchizedek. What was the office of Melchizedek? What was the function? He received tithe and prophesied on the givers. So Jesus in that office of Melchizedek receives your tithe and releases, activates the blessing. And I told you what the blessing is. A dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit that attracts to your life people opportunities and resources that's the blessing it's like an electromagnetic field when it comes upon your life everyone that comes within that circumference is compelled to respond to you in another way it's like a charm when it is on you have you heard people call you and say i don't know god just put it in my mind to bless you listen nobody gets up and blesses another person just by default if you are waiting for that you are dreaming something must compel them it's an operation of god called the father of spirits I, I don't want to start there are loaded messages for this year i don't want to go ahead of myself praise the lord there is a very extensive curriculum that will stretch you this year until you step into that dimension of grace very very important the father of spirits god gave me the revelation Remember, I taught us in James, I think 2.26 or so. It says, for as the body without the spirit, anything you do just from the flesh realm without a spirit component cannot work. That business without the spirit will die. Your family without the spirit will die. He said, for the body without the spirit is dead. So you must pay attention to practicing these laws when people in the shrine want to kill a man how do they do it they leave the man snoring in his room and use some enchantments is that true they invoke the spirit of that man you see it in nigerian films right and he appears that man is sleeping he's not even aware they called forth his spirit and separated it from his body and the spirit appeared in the shrine and then they gave the spirit instruction from today become unfaithful are we together from today become poor it's a programming upon his spirit and then the spirit returns to the body and the helpless body gets up and becomes a slave to prophecy it was not aware of that's the same way god operates he's called the father of spirits he can summon any spirit and give them instructions on your behalf so men don't know why they are just thinking about you and they say the lord led me venga the lord led me to show you ten thousand another person said ten thousand people say you are lucky no you are not lucky there is a spiritual climate responsible for that result this year force yourself to get it i must step into that climate that compels men i returned into this city i think two days ago as i was stepping in not even many people knew that i i, I think aside from the protocol not many people knew that i was around as soon as i arrived it was like a force that started compelling people apostle sir are you around i have a little gift for you someone brought hamper someone brought this and i said this thing works it's not about announcing oh, 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 oh.
Lay your hands on your head in one minute and prophesy and say, I'm breaking the back of poverty this year. Please pray. I sensed an anointing, that's why I was telling us to pray. Lay your hands on your head and prophesy. It's a year of multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. Influenced by the Spirit. Access to uncommon resources. Those outside, make sure you are praying. I will wipe the tears of my family this year. What they could not do, I'm about to arise. God, who had commanded light to shine out of darkness, light to shine out of obscurity. Like a ticket to go so pretty and protest, Pariada Baladabas. Hallelujah. Psalm 112, please, very quickly. Psalm 112. Psalm 112. Four areas I want you to focus on under finances one is your tithing please be determined this year that you are going to be serious discipline yourself don't think it's a gimmick by men of god don't listen to those nonsense that newspapers carry around castigating men of god yes i know that there are people who are driven whose god is their belly but please the mere existence of error does not mean you throw the baby and the bad water together don't stand. The Bible says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the, the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. He said, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord, that delights greatly in his commands. Verse 2. Let's hurry up, media help us. His seed shall be mighty. That's influence upon the earth he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed verse 3 i'd like you to read it and take it as a prophecy for your life one to go he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endure it forever wealth and riches wealth and riches wealth and riches wealth and riches shall be in his house like the ark of God came upon the house of Oben Edom and he began to prosper within three months. Oben Edom's life changed just because the ark came upon his house. Your worship offerings don't come to the house of God empty handed. See, let me tell you, let me tell you why many of us seem to be stranded in terms of having an offering to give or a worship offering because you are not a sower the bible says god gives seed to the sower if you say oh god please i don't want to come to your house just like that believe me god gives seed to the sower but you think when you hold that money you are coming to give a man of god to enrich the man no i've told you any man that truly fears god does not live off the resources of his members he lives off his obedience to kingdom principles it's a terrible thing to depend on your members to bless you you are tied to their mood swings the day they are ready to bless you no let me trust god for myself and believe in him as jehovah Jireh. your seats of honor i've shown you the mystery of sowing upwards look at me when you sow downwards, you walk in divine health. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You don't sow downward to step into prosperity. You sow downwards to create a track record that will speak for you in the day of obscurity. But when you want to step into a level, you sow upwards. You must learn this. Don't sow carelessly. Don't just look around. 
you are not a harbor you say go and see beggars on the street and give five beggars money and your life will change please we are not practicing shamanism this is christianity are we together you must learn god's principles seeds of honor find people that carry graces and levels that you desire so in, we call it sowing into an anointing you are sowing into an anointing and it authorizes you to step into that possibility learn this learn this learn to sow into anointings that will lift you into that level you must practice this consistently this year and finally kingdom building i call it kingdom investment bishop oyedepo used to shout this and say it with all his heart kenneth copeland would shout this again listen i'm telling you when you commit yourself to kingdom projects it will amaze you how god will step into your life how god will step into your life kingdom building is to find a need in the house of god and participate actively in meeting that need i want to encourage you this year that you must commit yourself find needs in the body of christ workers your departments someone can sit down and say ah koinonia needs a work clock three of us let's come together and buy for the house not joshua selman and you commit and god is watching you and you authorize increase in your life the bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth he said there is he that withholdeth more than his meat i want to ask you a question did the body of christ benefit from your resources last year that that may explain why you are where you are financially may god never give me any money that his house will not benefit in i say it again may it never come to me any money that comes into my life that the house of god cannot benefit in is a cost to me i'm sharing with you very deep secrets that can open your heavens there are times that people bring seeds all kinds of seeds and while i'm excited god says uh -uh, this seed is for the house of god quietly with jesus joy not grudgingly saying god said you god is faithful was it yesterday or day before yesterday i was rejoicing someone sent the seed into my account i was smiling and the lord told me internet transfer straight this ministry that ministry god you are faithful you won't destroy me if i die i die in your hands Off it goes. let your finances be so flexible like dr mike mudok who said that god can do business with you i was discussing with a prof last year one one of our daddies in area a and he spoke to me he said son tell the lord you want to be his treasurer ah, that's that statement resonated in my head that man sat me down and started discussing with me his work with God from childhood and how God had been faithful in his life and in his old age. He said, ask the Lord that he should make you his treasurer. Do you know what it means for God to make you his treasurer? Oh, God, make me your treasurer in 2016. Can God trust you with heaven's resources? Do you have the flexibility to release it when he makes demands it's my own it's my money i worked for it it's my sweat no but thou shall remember the lord your god because you can forget thou shall remember the lord your god he said for it is he that giveth thee power please give your way out of poverty this year sow your way out of poverty this year Number five, this is the last one, and we'll pray. Relationships. I want you to pay attention to this, especially those outside. Please pay very close attention to what I'm saying. I want you to invest this year. Invest in godly and healthy relationships. 
do you know the reason why doors never open for many of us we don't have helpers in our lives there's nobody you have honored enough to remember you in the days of adversity there are people who don't have money but they never lack there is always someone they can cry to they are not somebody who remembers them in the days of pain listen money is not everything are you hearing what i'm saying believe me money is very important but money is not everything educate yourself enough to know that money does not do everything hallelujah went to the bank today with the protocol to collect my 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 atm my card had expired and i was going to collect it and one two one two I'm sure maybe one or two of them may even be here one two one two they just made things happen for us and within minutes we're out of that place the power of relationships relationships will give you what money cannot give you relationship will give you hectares of land that you don't have money to get are you hearing what i'm saying relationship will give you things there are people today who can stay in somebody's rented apartment and never pay because of relationship if you have to pay for everything in life is dangerous it will kill you relationships the key to relationship is honor and friendliness when you make people feel like idiots around you you will pay for it in the days to come are we together all that big man is him i'm a big man i'm this and that no you must learn to relate with people. hallelujah Ada is here many of you may not know him they were part of what aaron calls first second generation dna that's him there he came around this guy used to wash my clothes cook for me he did this almost every day that was his work oh. believe me when i tell you this he was married until he got married and he left do you think i'll ever forget him i would drop my last penny to see that he smiles he's called blessed by association how many of you remember that teaching he and i those days blessed by association i taught on the mystery on how people can enjoy the sweat of others because they have learned to connect the bible says god told abraham to go and he said and lot went with him just by going with abraham he was implicated be blessed it's called blessed by association who do you know today that can speak for you in high places don't say it does not matter i learned this from my dad my dad has mastered the art of keeping relationships he knows almost everybody somewhere if it's military there must be a soldier that is his friend police there must be somebody that's a powerful life they take you to police station there's somebody who can advocate for you not to leave you to die there you are going to the court there is somebody who can speak for you i pray for you may god raise people this year that in any area there will be voices that will speak for you listen we suffer needlessly in life because we have money but we do not have voices that speak for us there's a business proposal there are five of you having it you have all the qualifications but you neglected relationships somebody you used to know who can now speak for you you are anointed but you ignored it because we pastors told you it's not important just pray and serve god no connect with people you don't connect with people because they are perfect connect with them now before it becomes every day makes it more expensive to connect connect and have a testimony that you drank gary together right and you will be able to partake of their bounty destiny help us you must look for these people and pray them into your life remember the bible talk, it talks to us about naaman we talk a lot about Naaman, but we forget the little maid who encouraged him. You know, it was a little slave girl. She said, there is a prophet. Please talk to the king to allow you. She persuaded him. And he went to Elisha. Elisha said, go and bath. And he was angry. He said, are there no other beautiful pools? And the lady begged him. When she pleaded with him, he went to bath. And his destiny changed. Connect with people. Don't ignore people this year. And say this one cannot speak english we are the committee of beautiful girls 
we are the committee of, of those who have we found. We are the handsome guys. We are the ones who are this. We are the ones who are intelligent. We are the ones who work in banks. We are the business moguls. That spirit cast it out this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Learn to connect with people. You don't know who is who. This world is a very small world. Very, very small world. I've gone to places and I've been amazed at people who I used to know and how they have been of tremendous help. You go somewhere and you are supposed to struggle and go through certain things and they facilitate it for you. When my international passport expired, one of our, he's a general, he's a, a, a chairman board of, of trustees, he went to, you know, just with his influence, I mean, this is a general now. This man drove me in his car by himself with army uniform. And I came out. People thought I was a general, so I was just smiling. <laughs> oh, this year, may you hang on somebody's success and smile through it. It mustn't always be your own. You can smile your way through relationships. And they say, yes, you are just a parasite. No problem. At least I'm moving forward. And he went there. When the woman saw the way he was running around, he just told me, sit down. I was embarrassed, frankly. He was running around, doing everything. And um, within 30 minutes, my passport was, uh, was ready. Something they, anyway, follow the protocol. Life is in stages. Don't go and force people in passport office and they throw you out and jail you. But the point is, the woman looked at him and I prayed with her. Then, I think it was last year or year before last, we went to minister in uh, the Nigerian immigration, the, the immigration service in, in Abuja, their chapel. We now went to minister there and after I was done, I was greeting the people. Guess who I saw? That madam. She had been shifted there. I looked at her and I said, ah, mommy, how are you? She was greeting me. She said, oh, I knew there was something about you. And I connected. I greeted her so well so that if my passport expires again, <laughs> Learn how to maintain relationships. See, listen. Please, we are, we, are, we are praying now. I'm teaching you secrets that will really put you on top. There are people who don't have money, but they will never cry. You won't see their tears. There is always somebody. There is always somebody. Hallelujah. What has been your outlook about relationships? People in the world know how to keep this relationship. Have you seen somebody go to drink? No money. Yet he goes to the beer parlor. He even invites an wife. Is it not this joint? Immediately he enters. Ah, oh, got lucky. How are you there now? And sits down. Give him 10 minutes. Somebody he knows will come in. And he say, bros, no deal, no deal. And they just say, Abba, serve him. And he will drink and argue about football. And argue about everything. Add pepper soup to it belts and go back home no money but he had a capital called relationships hold the hands of your neighbor i won't harm you with words from my mouth i love you i need you to say it again one more time i won't harm you with words from my mouth i love you May your life never be such that you will go in the midst of people who you used to know, but there is nobody to help you. May that never be your testimony in Jesus' name. Please, invest in healthy relationships. I'm telling you this. Invest in people are the conduits for miracles. Somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who can wipe your tears. It's amazing to see how close to are, how close you are to your miracle if you can just know who leads you there. Learn how to walk and live with people. That's the second point on that relationships. Hold on, Mike. Just pause. I want everybody to listen to what I want to say. Learn how to live and walk with people. The Bible says, he who wants friends must first show himself friendly. Please, you must learn how to live with people. Many of us are Christians, but we don't know how to live with people. Let me tell you what we want. A friend is not somebody who is you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
A friend may be somebody who has similar ideologies, but it cannot be you. There are many of us, the only person who can relate with you is another you. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist. That you are a friend to people does not mean that they don't make mistakes. It doesn't mean they are perfect in themselves. There are many of us, the lifespan of our friendship is three days. You must fight with somebody. And it's not necessarily an issue of demonic attack. It's just wisdom. You don't understand. Expect disappointment from friends. I don't say expect it in a negative way. I'm saying make room for it. Incorporate it as part. Expect betrayal. Expect anything and let it not surprise you when it happens. God can bring the greatest gold in your life in an imperfect vessel. If you know how to look beyond the flaws of men, you will find treasures in them that will change your life. I don't like this lady. She's a jealous lady, but she's intelligent and you need her intelligence. Why don't you ignore the jealousy? Are we together? I don't like this man. He's arrogant, but he's anointed. Why don't you quietly let him ignore the arrogance and open up your destiny and go? I don't like this woman. She's too pompous, but she has access to those you need. Please, learn how to work with people. I've taught us here, but let me repeat for those who have come. The highest psychological need of any man, this is the key to friendship. The Lord taught me this. The highest psychological need of any man alive is the need to feel loved, to feel valued, and to feel appreciated. Never forget this. Leaders, incorporate this as you work with people. Pastors, incorporate this. The extent to which comes some, the extent to which I make Sam feel loved and valued is the extent to which we become friends. Are we together? That does not mean I cannot rebuke him. That does not mean I cannot talk to him. But that he knows fundamentally that even when I rebuke him, I love him truly from my heart. Thank you, Sam. Are we together? Learn to make people feel comfortable around you. Don't fight people for sustaining ideologies that are different from you. You are not a member of this church. So don't come near me. We are the group of this. No, we are not a member of this. Your belief is this. You are from which church? I don't believe in your pastor. Okay, believe in the person. Relationships. God taught me this. I have seen it in my life. There are few things I pay for in my life. I am telling you this. And it's not because I'm a man of God. There are few things. Those who walk close to me know. There are few things I pay for in this life. There is always somebody somewhere. And it's just a call away. Do you know how you can help people? Influence is all about connecting with people that gives you access to platforms. Platforms. There are places I minister today. I never, I never would be able to minister. But on the strength of healthy relationships. There are people God has brought into my life today who will die to see me do well. I mean die. They will give their lives literally to see me do well. Do you have such people in your life? If you don't have it, you are poor. If you don't have it, you are poor. Invest in God. Don't just be bragging around and making people feel bad. And you are moving around and looking. At... No, no, no. The person you reject today will rise up faster than you ever imagined. And let me tell you something. You can change the future, but you cannot change history. People have memories like elephants. You do something wrong, after 10 years they will haunt you. They don't know whether you have been born again in that 10 years or you've rededicated your life to Christ. They just say, and see this stupid girl. I remember her in Zara. Is she not the one? She's the one. And you are coming. You are born again. You are even a pastor now. Where a pastor's wife. But carelessness of the past will haunt you. And you will have to start explaining yourself. No, I've changed. I know I was bad before. Use the opportunity now. Little things like fighting over seats. To insulting people. Gossiping about people. God is watching. Your destiny too is watching. You must make sure you are friends to people. Everywhere I go, I try to make the people feel honored. I greet them. Have you learned something tonight? Relationships. 
you want to see multiplied grace let there be multiplied relationships godly relationships you have to honor people you get up in the morning you greet your roommates good morning don't get up and say see if not for condition i won't be in this state you are not my mate at all you are not even my younger brother see please leave all those things don't use age to intimidate anybody you get up you be, and you when they greet you you reciprocate you don't sit down and say uh -huh. how are you good morning all this living your life to yourself i cook my food by myself i don't share with anybody i go to the market by myself you will leave destiny by yourself and that's when you will know how painful it is to ignore people you can have all the money but no access over three people called me today three people called me today to send names for jobs i don't need it three people i'm, I'm serious three people called me today and said ah there's there are some federal government jobs that are opening do you have a few people i said ah yes so i have people i said okay this one will give you one slot this one hurry up and do this it's called influence it's called influence that's what politicians do one letter can wipe your tears this is how miracles happen i'm teaching you wisdom you see me dwelling on this point because many of us have ignored relationships ignored relationships there are certain people that come from other university campuses and other places they come here and i see them i mark their face sometimes when i go around their regions to minister as people are trying to see me I, I look at their face and i say i remember are you not the one that did this bought me what they say yes sir. and i say no 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 let this guy come follow us to our hotel room access i see him looking at his friends i paid the price i came and now i have to go may god give you influence this year access to people quality people in the name of jesus christ access to people what you are looking for is in the hand of somebody don't look for that thing look for a relationship with him you will have access to it does a wife a, a good husband and a good wife does the wife really have to say sorry do i have a share in your inheritance all she did was what he got married to her and he also partakes of it stop looking for people's money look for relationships that's why many of us never get blessed. You come to a rich man and you are eyeing, you just hear making a call, say, eh, okay, transfer 15, add five to it. And you're like, ah, we are in the right place. Don't allow that attitude to cheat you this year. Listen, I do my possible best to build relationship with people above money. I have met millionaires. I have met billionaires. God is my witness. I've never opened my mouth to say, give me one naira not because i may not need it you kill relationships unnecessarily when your motive is revealed to be wrong so pay the price it's not easy but as much as it's within your power focus on relationship not this there are people who come and meet a man of god they don't want relationship they just want anointing man of god i've heard of all the things you are doing and i need the same result and then they kneel down and raise one envelope they say i came with this as if i you know you almost feel like telling them my brother please stand up and walk away because he would think something came upon him but nothing really happened it's just that sometimes when they disturb you you just do it so they will go but you and god know that nothing really happened relationship elijah had the sons of the prophet but elisha followed him and established a relationship finally how to walk in the prophetic world there are two laws i want you to never forget number one is the law of encounter it's changed my life i've taught us jeremiah 29 13 he says and ye will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart he says and ye shall seek me and find me is one powerful law that has worked in my life encounter is what births transformation when you encounter god when you encounter a dimension of him it will speak in your life please respect the law of encounter press for his presence press for his presence 
press for his presence allow people to run around and move around but stay I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting on you Lord I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting on you seek God with all your heart this year be be addicted to his presence don't just do it as a koinonia thing I told you God said tell them to give me time when you give God time he will reveal his glory in your life number two the law of honor this is the key for impartation honor honor let me talk for two minutes on honor Hebrews 7 verse 7 says and without contradiction the lesser listen God has already designed his system the lesser is blessed of the greater every dimension you want to enter is somebody's current experience if you know how to honor your way you will honor your way cheaply into anointings honor is so powerful it can bring the harvest of somebody into your life hallelujah i'm a product of many anointings i have mastered the law of honor you must learn this learn this honor your way into unbelievable dimensions of grace honor your way into people's lives honor your way into their anointings honor the house of god the bible says honor all men it says honor the king when you have that attitude of honor i'm telling you the sky will only be a starting point for you this year i've made up my mind to honor every grace i come across genuinely and truthfully that's why we provide buses it's a symbol of honor we spend a lot there but we will never stop because it's a seed of honor i don't know what graces you carry it's a privilege to be a preacher but it does not mean i am better than you there are people carrying graces here that i probably am praying for when i'm able to honor you by helping out to take you to your destination is a seed of honor that will bring impartation is a big secret in this ministry you honor people first from your heart not just through money money is important but the the principal way of honor is to esteem a man and esteem the grace he carries truly both the person and the office he represents not just office the person and the office hallelujah we are going to pray there are many platforms that are available this year to bless us the koinonia services are there the school of ministry is there the forms will be out immediately during the announcement we will announce it right this night the forms will be out there are many platforms plunge into it don't be half-hearted you will be cheated if you are staying plunge yourself and see what God does in your life. Please rise up on your feet and let's pray. Please participate in the prayer because there is a prophecy that I want to release on us. Lift up your voice and thank the Lord for this word. Supernatural grace. Multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. Lift your voice inside and outside. Bless the Lord Almighty. The God of the heavens and the earth. Bless him. It's a good year for the body of Christ. It's a good year for the body of Christ. It's a good year for Koinonia. By the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Just three prayer points quickly. Prayer point number one. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I receive your word. 
and I will run with it this year. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lord, I receive it. I receive your word as a believer. I receive your word. Are you praying, Koinonia? Lord, we receive your word. But I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded. I am persuaded that he is able. He is able. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Lord, make me addicted to your presence this year. That I will seek you. I will seek your word. I will seek prayer. I will seek your presence. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, shake it back at Lord, I seek you this year like never before. Like never before. I seek you with all my heart, all my might, all my soul. Pray. Revival to my prayer life. Revival to my word study life. Give me encounter, so called supernatural visitations this year. Dreams, visions, encounters with the power of the Holy Ghost that will take me to a new dimension in the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number three. Lord, this year will be a year of results. I must hold on to tangible evidences. Lift your voice. Results. This must be a year of results. Outside, are you praying? This must be a year of results. There must be proofs in my life. There must be evidences in my life. Miracles, signs, wonders. The demonstration of the power of God. The demonstration of the word of God. In my life. In my ministry. Pray. In my business. In my education. In my family. There must be results. In 2016. <laughs> There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results.
Hallelujah. The Bible says, let your light shine before men that they may see it. When men see, there is a level of notable results. You can argue all kinds of things, but you can't argue results. It says that they may glorify your Father in heaven. The last prayer point, listen. Please, I want you to pray this with all your heart. Father, connect me to influential relationships this year. Just pray what I'm asking you to pray. Lift your voice. Connect me to men of influence across different strata. Men who will allow me ride on their success. Men who will allow me ride on their anointings. Men who will allow me ride on their influence. Men who will endorse me. Pray. Shekete koto sekete. Oh, send thou help to Zion, O great one. In the name of Jesus, send thou help to your people. Supernatural connections that will give you in one day the labor of other people's lifetime. Men of influence in every mountain. Men of influence in the government. Men of influence in finance men of influence in the educational realm oh god that in every area raise men to stand for me raise men to speak for me raise men to advocate for me make my life easy this year pray make my life easy this year as i serve you let there be ease in my life I rise upon the influence of many. I rise upon the strength of quality relationships, on common access, on common doors, on common resources, on common encounters. Hallelujah. Please, when you go back, I'd like all of you to listen to two teachings. Activating, I mean, um, activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us. Listen to it again, no matter how many times you've listened to it. And then listen to activating seasons of greatness. Sit on that teaching and cry your heart unto God hallelujah i want to prophesy over your life please i want you to believe it believe it many of us ignore the power of prophecy to our detriment listen you don't god created provision you don't have to struggle your way by yourself there are people that have been put strategically to help you you can reject the help to your detriment there are people who have traveled far and near. There are whole families in this place. Travel distances and hours just to come. Some of you are within reach. Yet you will not open up your heart. Don't let people come and receive their blessings and go back. And you are there. Just make up your mind. The Bible said by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. He said by a prophet they were preserved. It's not human worship. There may be exaggerations here and there, but it does not mean prophecy is powerful. It can frame your reality. Please, I want you to believe it. Prophecy is very powerful. This is the crux of the meeting tonight because it will give you direction. Listen, let me tell you how prophecy works. Look up. I know our time is gone, but let me just use one example. Come, anybody. Prophecy is like a charm. Listen, when it is spoken, it leaves as I'm speaking. It's like a charm. It comes upon you. 
and creates an effect he makes things that should not have happened happen listen i told you the most superior the, of dimension of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension the creative dimension of the prophetic is the most superior dimension the revelatory dimension is important it gives you direction and builds faith but the creative dimension is what is responsible for creating your reality i prophesied as i was commanded he said and there was a sound it's not like the sound was wrong it was never there prophecy called it prophecy calls things that be not as though they are lift your hands as i speak over your life father let there be results in the name of jesus in the name that is above all names i speak unto you an unusual anointing that will step you into encounters with the holy ghost receive it right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ listen a dimension of unction that you have never functioned in in the name that is above all names i prophesy that this year you will ride upon a river an unction that will take you to superior levels in the spirit oh i command it to be so in the spirit i command it to be so in the spirit i pray for you the mark of favor that can come upon a man and produce uncommon access in the name that is above all names may that mark come upon your life right now i prophesy to you may that mark come upon your life right now may that mark come upon your life right now listen honor is an anointing there is an anointing that can come upon a man and make him honorable he says and Jabez was more honorable that anointing that makes men honorable i release it upon you right now or oh, in 2016 receive that anointing for honor uncommon honor god will position men to celebrate your grace they will appreciate you they will sow into your grace i pray for you this year may the spirit of revelation illumination and insight into the mysteries and the operation of the kingdom i release it upon you right now oh eyes to see eyes to see i release it upon you on common dimension of access to spiritual realities i release it upon you like a mantle in the name of the lord jesus my goodness there are strange impartations strong impartations that are happening to people by the anointing of the holy ghost by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i release impartations of this unction the spirit of revelation strange levels of access in the spirit i open to you fountains fountains of light in the spirit i open you up to mysteries i open you up to mysteries in the name of jesus I open you up to mysteries, strange operations of mysteries. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every person 
who you must connect to to rise wherever they are it's called the year of multiplied influence i'm prophesying to you please believe me from the north to the south the east and the west every anointing every grace you must connect to to rise i release access to you in the name of jesus access to people access to anointings access to opportunities in the name of jesus oh connect with influential people i release that anointing upon you receive it connect to influential people receive it right now influence influence i stand upon this apostolic office and i prophesy supernatural influence connect to people in government connect to people everywhere in the name of jesus they will listen to you when you speak they will rise up to help you rise up for you every door that refused to open in 2005 in the name of jesus under this multiplied grace we compel that door to open in the name of jesus every door that refused to open every obstacle that refused to let you go right now in the name of jesus i command that door open now open now hear me i prophesy to your loved ones this year we force results in your family hear me again this year we command results in your family may the angel that has been assigned to koinonia the angels that have been dispatched to honor this prophetic word may they go to every family and begin to cause the word of god to come alive listen some of you it will not reach 24 hours your result will start coming believe me it will not reach 24 hours your results will start coming dramatic results listen koinonia you will hear testimonies this year that will make you afraid people will come and stand here and you will think they are lying because of the breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough receive it in the name of jesus christ i bless the work of your hands this year may an anointing come upon it in the name of jesus for students i pray a level of grace and ease that you have never seen a level of superior intelligence i release it upon you right now i release it upon you right now listen this is the year of jubilee and i prophesy to you the opening of gates to every age-long challenge prophetically and even historically this is the season of jubilee and in the season of jubilee you let go captives i command every captivity in this season of jubilee it must let you go right now in the name of jesus christ take god seriously more than ever before begin to press into god you've been coming for koinonia you are not a worker in any department locate a department and settle and commit yourself commit yourself to prayer commit yourself to the, to the word hallelujah very important so with god this lady may be weak unable to do anything but with god with god she may be broke suffering nothing is working but all of a sudden she comes and she finds out that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. She begins to learn the ways of God that he can open up the heavens. That it is the blessing of the Lord. Not your business. It is the blessing. The blessing makes everything you do prosper. That's why it says whatsoever he doeth prospers. So it's not about what you are doing. It's about the spiritual factor that supports what you are doing so with God with God 
she suddenly becomes powerful all of a sudden doors of favor open up to her because she has chosen to leave her old mindset and come to God listen to me tonight the first miracle you need to have is to give up on your ideologies and say Lord I'm tired because your life is a reflection of your ideologies I don't care what the situation is I told us last week that your environment will eventually become a reflection of what your belief system and your ideology he said let this mind Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 let this mind the word let there is permit permit this mind please I know that you came from Kaduna State and Kaduna State there may be a way you thought about in your village I know that you came from from the east and there is a way that they thought I know that you come from the west I know that you come from Katsina tonight will you choose to become a citizen of the kingdom by adopting the ideologies of the king subscribe to a new government Every government has an economic system. Every government has a political system. Every government has a welfare system. If you've been evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more shall your heavenly father? But that law is only operational for the sons of the kingdom. Hallelujah. The word of God brings you into alignment. Listen. When I begin to study the word of God or when she begins to study the word of God and she finds out that there is an ideology that she has that fights against the word of God, you will be foolish to argue with the word of God. The word of God predates our existence. It has been tried through dispensations. The word of God is a description of his character, his operation with man. And I told you that the efficacy of the word transcends Genesis 1. It's beyond that. It predates Genesis 1. I told you Genesis 1 is not the first creation. We've, we've settled that, right? Job 38. Those of you who are just coming, this is Koinonia. Get the series. Hallelujah. That there, there is a lot of creation. Genesis 1, uh, Isaiah 38 begins to give us how the foundation of the earth was created. Praise the Lord. The question I'm asking you is, I know you want God to bless you, but could it be that the devil that needs to go out today is not the one in your village? Is the one that has stayed in your mind like a stronghold. The Bible says... That the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. To what? The pulling down of strongholds. Casting down every yazar, imagination, and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. And bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. Praise the Lord. So, we have been given a poverty mentality as Africa. We have been taught that until you are 25 or 30, don't think about finances, don't think about blessing, don't think about empowerment. And you are told that you are too young to carry the power of God, or you are a lady, you shouldn't carry the power of God. These are the ideologies that cosmos markets to us, but you must refuse it. Say, I refuse. Shout it, I refuse. Mm. You must refuse it. You must refuse it. Who told you you were naked? Who told you you were naked? I honor the doctors, but do you know that there are many people who, are, who have several sicknesses, but it never affects them because they do not have a medical report to validate it. You went to check headache. They said, my brother, this thing is more than headache. You mean you would have died now? We have a lot of doctors here. Doctors, I love you. Praise the Lord. But now when you check and they tell you, huh, do you know that your liver is almost, in fact, you say, you, you mean it? Hi, from that time your liver starts paining you physically right and then the doctor tells you you have two weeks to live all of a sudden somebody says there's an opportunity god is lifting us they let him lift you there i'm dying i believe the report of the lord i believe the report of god. see listen you don't see with your eyes. You see through your eyes. There is a spiritual agency for sight. 
you only see through these physical eyes. It's not what you see with. They are just the physical components that enable your true spiritual eye to see. And Paul prayed that that eyes be flooded with light. Praise the Lord. So we need alignment. That's why you can pray for people. Pray for them. Lay hands on them. Do whatever you want to do. Did you know that sometimes you finish praying and then the people walk right back because their mindset betrays what God wants to do in their lives. That's what happened to the nation of Israel. Right? Everything you have told Moses we will do oh, after two weeks. They say, Kai! A, a delegation comes and they say, Moses, we, we need an explanation. Go and bring Baal. Make something for us that we can see. This mysterious God who comes with smoke, we don't know this one. Please, make something we know. They limited God in the wilderness. A man's mindset can limit God as mighty as he is. I refuse to limit you. Number three, the word of God, an encounter with the word of God shows you your part of the deal. It shows you the part you have to play to commit God to a performance. Never forget this. There is a part that you have to play, brothers and sisters. Every promise in scripture requires a partnership on your own part. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1. It says, If thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day. Right? And then it talks about um, you being exalted above all the nations and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If there is a condition. Isaiah 1.19 If ye be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of your the land not if ye be hungry and desperate if ye be what willing and obedient there is a condition there is a condition there are always conditions so an encounter with the word reveals to me my part of God's prosperity package Lord you want to bless me what is my role right I want to step into levels of the anointing. The word of God shows me. is See, reading the word is like walking in your promised land. It says walk left and right. See everything as far as your eyes have seen. So, you read, studying the word of God is like touring your promised land. And you come back and say, Lord, as I read, I found this and that. And God says, alright, here's the condition. Everything is yours for it. You can enter a restaurant. Immediately you enter the restaurant, you see a lap of an ugly chicken and you start smiling. But you came there with 100 naira. There is a condition. You want to be a possessor. You want to make that thing become a present reality. There is a price tag. Nobody stops you. There's no policeman to stop you. But you can watch it like a museum and salivate and watch. Right? And nothing happens. You may be 30 years. But a little baby will come with his father and he say, Mommy, I like this. And whatever he likes, keep giving it to him. The container did not refuse to open. Your part. I know you are laughing because I spoke about food, but get the revelation because the issue in your life is more than food. Praise God. Oh God, change my story. God says, come let me show you your part of the deal. He said, God, I don't want you. You have died for me. Mm -mm. Listen, listen, listen. Making the word of God work in your life, making that which he has done to work in your life will require a participation on your own part. Please understand this. Praise the Lord. Are we following? So these three things. Tonight, as you are seated here, there are some of us, the reason why certain levels of breakthrough have not come into our lives is because we have not been able to support our claims in prayer with a basis you have you have always every power challenging me you better leave because of what why should they leave do you know what brought them in the first place 
they were there before you were born so i came to koinonia every demon i'm tired of you and that's not what drives them you, you don't they don't go because you are tired 38 years that man was lying down at a pool that wicked spirit did not say kai 37 38 oh yeah let me allow you you have tried you would have remained there forever in five minutes five minutes meaning time does not change anything light is what changes things it will change tomorrow you are wasting your time arise and shine not because you are tired of sitting isaiah 64 thy light is come hmm. are you getting blessed so there are some of us here what you need is to understand a revelation of what jesus christ has done you think the reason why you may get everything is because you are bold or because you are praying it's not that there is a revelation the blood of jesus for years i heard rain had bunker talk about the blood of jesus so much he, he equated blood and fire and i didn't i couldn't quite get it until i found out that blood was a key in the spirit that's why every religion has blood as part of their component this is the one factor that every religion agrees upon blood hallelujah and there are some of us here the problem is our mindset God wants to bless us. He wants to lift us. But there is a mindset. Oh, I'm a lady. Oh, I'm coming from so, so and so. I cannot even speak English. Oh, this and that and that and that. I've not even gotten admission. Or, oh, me, I just want a little this. Oh, I made that and that. Huh? Or God, I want you to bless me. But it must happen through NMPC. If you are Lord, it must happen through NMPC. They limited God. You're asking God for a cup and he wants to give you an ocean hallelujah that's the problem with the body of christ our faith is what i call auxiliary faith faith that is standing on something tied to the neck of your uncle so every time you say lord bless me what you mean is press that uncle's neck until he responds to me your faith is not really standing upon the word of god your faith every time you say lord i i i, I know you are changing my story what you are simply saying oh lord i know my uncle will not sleep until my no 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 why don't you give him the option to bring the strategy and you say lord i don't care how it will be done i may not see wind i may not see rain but one thing i know because let me tell you your strategy is most of the time carnal but his strategy becomes spiritual when he gives you a strategy it may look foolish but that's the way he has chosen it right Go around Jericho. That's the strategy. Oh, I'm already ahead of myself. The second way to receive a miracle or the second platform. Now, first is an encounter with the word of God. Second is the ministry of prayer. The ministry of prayer is part of the equation to receiving a miracle. There must be the ministry of prayer. It does two things. Number one, prayer challenges the forces of darkness fighting against the manifestation of the promise in your life Ephesians 6 verse 12 the Bible clearly tells us that we are not alone in this world we have strangers who are trying to escort us every day every time wicked spirits stratified in different cadres right so you are always not alone the devil attempts to seek entrance into different dimensions of your life and given the opportunity he will wreck your life the goal to mock the testimony of God in your life. Praise the Lord. So there are giants on every mountain. Please don't let anybody fool you. There are giants on every mountain. If you get into a mountain and the door is already open, somebody already killed the giant. But there were giants there. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. The stratification of the demonic kingdom. So between you and your breakthrough, there are giants. It takes the ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. When you pray, you authorize heaven to look into your situation. Because God is not committed to step into your situation without your asking him to. Genesis 1.26 From the day he said, let them have dominion. But God is supposed to know now, doesn't he love me? Well, it will not change. The bones kept staring at Ezekiel until something happened. Praise the Lord. 
You come for miracle service and you find out that as the word is coming like this, there are still people seated, oppressed of demons. Right? Some of these demons are hearing what I'm saying now. They are just shaking, but they are not going yet. Let's see if we will go. Must we really go? Yes. By the time we begin to pray, we activate the energy, the force. Right? It's a force of compliance. It brings everything to the obedience of Christ. So that's why you need to pray. You pray to command the forces of darkness that are stopping your access to bow. Number two, this is an even greater reason why we pray. Prayer reveals the exact and the unique strategy to bring the promise to manifestation. Please never forget this. When you pray in the place of prayer, God reveals to you his unique strategy for you. So you have walked through scripture and you have seen that God has told you that you are to walk in breakthrough. But now, the Bible may not give you the nitty gritty of what to do in your unique situation. Prayer. When you begin to pray, the Spirit of God begins to search the mind of God concerning your situation. And the Bible says how that he searches all things and he prays according to the will of God. So you begin to pray and then the Lord tells you, okay, now this is the strategy. You are going to meet Benga. Benga will introduce you to Femi. And Femi will introduce you to Prof. That's how the miracle will come. It is a strategy for only you. Somebody will do it and fail. Are you seeing why prayer is powerful? This is, this is, am I blessing you? In my opinion, I think this is already a miracle for somebody. I'm showing you the loopholes. Some of us have seen the promise. You have agreed with God. But the problem is the strategy. In ancient times, kings won war not on the strength of their army, but the dexterity of their strategy. Strategy, strategy, strategy. So Joshua stood still and God began to give him the strategy. He said, Joshua, this is how we throw this wall down. Walk around seven times. Did you ever see that repeated in the Bible? Because it was a strategy. Right? He told Gideon, take the people by the riverside and let them take water. Study the way they take water. You will use it as a separation. Strategy. Somebody has come tonight to receive strategy. Lord, how do I complete this house? You calculated your salary based on your salary to take 10 years. And God says, I can show you a strategy. The Bible says, then was the secret revealed unto Daniel. A wicked king slept in the night, dreamt and forgot it and was going to punish people for his forgetfulness. Right? And a man called Daniel. One of the greatest prayers that I've been praying in this season is Lord's strategy. It, it's all about strategy, I'm telling you. God will show you something that does not make sense, but it's his strategy for you. Everyone will do it and fail, but it's what you will do. Hallelujah. So you look at that business and you are praying and God will say, uh -uh, my strategy for you is take that business out of where you are. Take it to another place. Isaac already knew he had the blessing upon him, but he needed a strategy. Right? That's why every time kings would fight, they would go and inquire, what is the strategy for this war? They will not use yesterday's strategy for today's war. They will fail woefully. And so they will go, should I pursue? And the Lord will say, this is how it will happen. Like in the days of Jehoshaphat. Put worshippers in front. Other times he said, walk around seven times. Other times he said, just be still. Get a stone and sit down and watch what I will do. Strategy. Question. The strategy you are using for your life now, who gave you? I saw another man do it, you see. He just went and started selling tomato. You see, it's... It, God said he will bless you. But what drove you into it? I, I, a man must work. Don't stop those kind of demonic thinking. There must be a strategy. Oh Lord, change my story. I think I'll start selling shoes. Just like that. Just like that. The Bible says, as they began to pray, the Holy Ghost said, separate me Paul and Barnabas. If they were to choose, they would have carried somebody else. Right now. 
when we begin to pray i am convinced that god will begin to reveal strategies for people hmm. strategies on how to make the rain work some of you listen students there are students here that all you need is one strategy there is a course everybody has told you this course and you are face to face with that goliath you've been running away but right you are there now you need a strategy hallelujah there are some of you maybe your project a supervisor may be difficult and god can give you a strategy the strategy may not necessarily be a direct revelation from the spirit it can be light a one scripture imprints in your spirit as you are praying oh god what do i do about this my supervisor suddenly a scripture comes the gift of a man makes room you quickly go and package wine not to bribe the man you are responding to a strategy ordinarily he would have thrown you out with your wine but because you are doing it as a strategy you will laugh and say why did you have to do that what is even your name you have been disturbing me it's a strategy don't give me strategy you will see men do foolish things that don't make sense that's what god told us when when we wanted to start giving access to our messages i went to the lord and the lord told me he said make sure you do not sell any message keep the videos give out the mp3s that's the strategy right you may do it for your ministry and you will lose a lot of money the blessing god has tied for your ministry you would but but it is a strategy it's a strategy when i said lord what is the key to the publicity and the increase and the expansion of this ministry in terms of membership god gave me a strategy it's not a secret mark one two three you may apply it and it may not work for you but that's what the lord gave and this is the mystery behind what you see i like you as you are seated before we stand up to pray in one minute speak to the lord what is the strategy lord my family has been struggling over this issue for years Every time they want to build, there is no money. What is the strategy? Please take what I'm saying seriously. One strategy can change your situation. Not just a strategy you read from a book. One strategy. There is an easier way of doing it. That you have not seen it does not mean it's not there. Why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal. In 24 hours, by the strategy of the Spirit, He gave victory. Please pray. God has shown you your destiny helper, but He's not paying attention to you. One strategy will answer the question. Pray. God has shown you the business He wants you to do. But as it is, you try and try. You need strategy. It's not like you didn't hear God. The ministry of prayer. You have been reading and reading. You did well in 100 level. 200 level. By 300 level you started moving back. Because you need to change strategy. You need to go to his majesty. To show you. Strategy 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 please pray for your ministry sister you don't need all the money you think you need what you need is a strategy from the spirit believe me you have tried every idea you know you have tried everything they have told you why don't you cry before god come on now pray koinonia Reveal unto me the strategy. My family is suffering. There is witchcraft in my family. They have vowed. But my father will not listen. What is the strategy for the deliverance of my family? Everybody in my family is an unbeliever. But I've seen in visions and dreams that they will all be saved. Between the promise and the manifestation, what is the strategy? lord i've applied for job everywhere civil defense immigration everywhere what is the strategy hallelujah 
strategy. The last thing I'll talk about when we stand up, we're going to do a quick walk. Very, very quick walk. The last step towards the manifestation of a miracle is that you must take action. Take action. I want everybody to listen to me carefully because God is about to speak to us in a very definite way now. I hope you have been blessed so far. Take action. There are two enemies of action that are found from scripture. Number one, fear. Fear. Everybody say fear. Fear is a dangerous and wicked spirit. There are multi-millionaires sitting listening to me now. But fear has taught them from taking action. There are many families you would have finished building your house since. Not just a bungalow that will kill you. There are people seated here. If you took the step God told you last year, you would have been feeding your family this year. Fear. Tonight, I'm showing you all the things. That there is work to do tonight. Are you getting my point? Everybody shout, I reject fear. Oh, fear does not respect age. Children fear. Adults fear. Great men fear. Macho men fear. Intelligent people fear. Right now, Africa is afraid. Nigeria is afraid. Many people are afraid. The dollar is crashing. Everybody is afraid. You don't know what to do. Right? There's fear everywhere. When the devil, when God tells you, get up and build the house. This year, that house must be built. And all you have is 100,000. And you calculate and you find out that the building will cost 7 million. And you are laughing. You say, God, don't disgrace me. Let the people in the village not say I'm stupid. Take action. Listen, the Bible says this sign shall follow, not go before. You will never see the hand of God till you stand up and move. This is somebody's, this is a word from God to someone. You have refused to move. Fear. You wrote jam nine times. You didn't get it. God is saying this time you will get it. You say, I'm not ready. I better go to the restaurant and eat food with that money. See that? Fear. Are we getting blessed? Let's look at two scriptures. Second Timothy 1 verse 7. Take it high, please. Second Timothy 1 verse 7. Please help us media. Let's really hurry up. We have to hurry up. Because we have some prayer to do. Are you seeing the things that are limiting us? Truly, I am determined this year to see that every one of us has a testimony. If nothing changes in your life this year, then it's your fault. But as far as the principles that will guarantee for you to experience the rain, by the grace of God, I will do my best. For God had not given us the spirit of fear. Put your name there. Just that first clause. One to read. One more time. Praise the Lord. There are many of our loved ones. 45 years. Brother, are you ready to get out of your father's house? I preached a message in 2008. It was a classic. Come out of your father's house. Don't provoke message to challenge people to leave their comfort zone. There are some of us, 30, 35, 40 we are still a big liability to our parents at home. Or God come out to say, what I have now is 20,000. Come out. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have sown seeds, you are giving. Look, let me tell you, if I am a father, my, when my child gets to a certain age, one day, you will just come and say, young man, in the name of Jesus, I release the blessing upon you. Go out. Out. That's it. I'm, I'm very serious. See, you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone this year. It's not just to say it's the year of the rain. Stand up and take action. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Change, change what you have been doing. Kill fear. Take action and die doing it. Queen Esther, God took her to the palace. God removed Vashti and brought her for the salvation of Israel. But when Mordecai spoke to her, her man is plotting against these people. You better go and meet the king. She said, ah, please, oh, me too. His, his, his brig, they brought me here. Please, I'm not ready to face any embarrassment. And Mordecai said, sit down there in fear. Paraphrasing. 
sit down there when they finish with us the jews they will now say all of you in this palace bring your bio data and they will find out you are a jew too and they will kill you and she said if i perish i perish this is the year some of us are going to say if i i'm writing that jam again is god speaking to somebody i'm writing that jam again this is the year but i tried the business i failed you will do it again this year master we have cast he said we have cast the net of how do you put it now right we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at that word. i was going to get married the best even did introduction later he called and he said he's not doing it again and now one godly brother is saying i'm serious he said you look like that guy stand up and take action otherwise you sit down and not get married all your life in the name of jesus you will take action this year praise the lord there are some of us god is speaking fear fear do you know fear puts people in bondage more people die there are many sicknesses today that are as a result of fear and worry is that true what you are afraid of has not happened but you are you are almost dying from today now people have started running out of zaria for instance you can go if you want to go what I, <laughs> of course i'm not teaching you to be careless and just roam around but, but oh, come on now people fear everything you are sleeping in the night you just light maybe it's the cloth you hung that just tilted in a way say I, I don't like the way this cloth why is it tilting and coming back who is there <laughs> fear fear has made people to say yes when they would have said no and they committed themselves into things you have no business committing yourself fear one of my friend's father listen true story one of my friend's father they would have been the earliest people to start pure water business in nigeria when god gave him that idea it was in a full gospel businessmen's fellowship right the idea came and he laughed thai water haba who will pay for water are we idiots there is stream there is sun there's light there's stove to warm water and he refused to take action and certain people took action do you think those who took the action are, are crying now this year you must take a handkerchief as you are crying be moving are you getting my point you must challenge that devil you have not broken through certain barriers nobody has ever crossed to the university in your family now you finish secondary school for instance and you're about to take that step and, and everybody said just you have tried you got diploma in, in in software application are you not okay you are ahead yet every time you sleep you see a phd and the devil is telling you cannot move tonight we have come to call that devil a liar in the name of jesus christ say i will take action say i will take action that's right the second thing that stops action is laziness everybody say laziness my goodness our time is gone laziness very important proverbs chapter 10 verse 4 please proverbs 10 verse 4 and then later on we would look at proverbs 22 verse 13 media please don't forget proverbs 10 verse 4 there are some of us the demon that needs to fly out of our life today not jump out fly out and never return is that spirit of laziness that inertia to move forward some of us sheer laziness the bible says he become poor that dealeth with what you never stay around me and you become lazy i have zero tolerance for lazy people a young man of 30 years by 11 30 12 he's still snoring on the bed you will beg for bread for sure there is no amount of fasting that will change that if you don't change it there are many lazy people we like our wolf free things look let me tell you there is a place for diligence if you must see the rain fall upon you this year are we getting blessed he become a poor that deals with a slack hand but the hand of the diligent does what there are some of you you are experts at begging day and night you beg everybody right 
please, bros, I beg. You get 5K, help me. Next time, sister, sorry, I'm just knowing you. Don't be embarrassed. I need 2K. You, you degrade yourself because of this devilish attitude of laziness. There are grasses in people's houses to go and weed. There are things to do. But you get up and believe you're a big boy. Big boy with nothing in your pocket. You calm down. Don't try to look successful. Pay the price and be successful. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? You must reject laziness. There are some students. You see how some students live. You think, you think that they are professors. Right? 10 or 11 exams is in one week and you see the person just strolling with his boxers go and fetch a, 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 a bucket of water lazily he cannot even wait at the tap he will turn somebody else's water drag himself to the bathroom come out 30 minutes later huh? dirty boxers dirty singlets you can't wash it laziness all around you can't get up and sweep your room and some of our sisters are like that who do you want to marry? Tall, dark, and handsome. He must be a millionaire. You think God doesn't have sense? He said, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man sows. There are many people. See, look, let me tell you. Sometimes you may see me, you see some of the things we are doing, and you just don't be deceived by this, this ever water. If you want it, come and carry it. There is, there is more than this. Are you getting my point? First thing tomorrow morning, we are leaving for Katsina. It takes work. It's not just anointing. It takes diligence. Please, you need to talk to yourself and say, this year, the spirit of laziness, I curse you out of my life. Curse you out of my life. An assignment you can do now. You sit down and say, I will do it on Wednesday. You get zero. Right? Another assignment, you get zero. They just, they, they solve a question in class. They say, just copy it and get 10 marks. Say, I will do it later on. Look, procrastination, you must attack it this year. Hallelujah. You are working in the office of your boss because you think you come for koinonia and the person you are working for is here. It's no guarantee to be lazy. I will fire you. I employ you. You are not doing what I employ. In the name of Jesus, I will fire you. And you will come back and you will hear me preach. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is truly no food for a lazy man. Let me tell you the truth. You must get up. And, and be serious about your destiny and work. There are some of us this year. You have no business with relationship. If you are passing and you see any beautiful lady. Just say blood of Jesus and pass. Because this year is a year to you. Your own reign is coming to give you grace to stand up. No responsible parent will give her daughter to somebody who doesn't know where he's going. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Very important. But I believe that as we contend tonight in this miracle service, it's going to be a very fast walk. For me, I think this, this is it happening to you. If, if we close right now, I believe that you would have left with something. Many of us here belong to this category, this laziness category, right? Because social media, Facebook, Twitter, has and, and, and BBM has massaged our life of laziness. Something you can get up and do. You see a lot of people just to walk from one place to the other. You are taking a bike. Huh? Laziness. It's not like you are in a hurry for anything. You just load your phone and sit down in the afternoon. You are not working. You are not doing anything. You are a liability to everybody around you. And you are just, you are, you are sending Yarrow boys as a student, for instance, to go and buy you Mr. Biggs. Four, five thousand. They bring everything. You lie down with phone that you forced out of your father or mother. And you are making calls in the daytime. Even a worker is not doing that. You ping your life out. and The person you are pinging is in the office making money. You are there struggling. The day you call him, he stops responding to you. Please don't be a liability to anybody this year. Whoever has been ignoring you is because you are becoming a pest. Rise up and begin to be hardworking and you will become friends again. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Especially for the brothers. Brothers say amen. 
let me talk to you for one minute before we start praying this year please please something must change there are some people sir five years six years no job not because they they have never taken their cv anywhere um, but my uncle said it now that uncle said it's wicked you came to stay in your friend's house when you stayed in his house he was a student he graduated served and is working you are still staying in his house he has gotten a job you are still staying in his house whoever that friend is drive that person out after miracle service tell him in the name of jesus christ i appreciate you three years is enough time for you to sit down get koinonia messages 2012 13 14 it will liberate you please out of my house sometimes you need to push some people into their breakthrough over pampering destroys hallelujah over pampering destroys there are times you need to get up and challenge yourself they send you money in two weeks you're already calling again laziness you won't do anything you hear that there is scholarship free there are many graduates many graduates you win is out they won't apply i think it finished today they won't do anything you said god told you you'll be an entrepreneur Huh? and you are not doing anything you've never gotten up to go for any seminar to build yourself you see a seminar you reject it you are not watching anything on youtube you are not going to sit and learn under people you are just sitting down bragging around with nonsense that's what a lot of young people are doing around huh? god blesses you with fifty thousand that can start something that can bless you you use it and buy a suit to prove a point to the people who are busy building their destinies they are not even seeing the point you must change this year in the name of jesus christ fear and laziness we are going to pray three serious prayer points the moment we pray these three prayer points the night will start with the sick people we we'll start ministering to the sick people as soon as we pray the three prayer points please begin to write your prayer requests while we minister those outside can you shout hallelujah one more time shout hallelujah the Lord will visit you in a mighty way in Jesus name praise the Lord rise up on your feet and let's pray success is not automatic there are laws there are laws this is our year of the rain God has spoken to us shown us the loopholes Lift your hands and begin to thank God for this word tonight. He that he loves, he chastises. Bless his name. Bless his name. Lift your hands inside and outside. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for this word. It has come to clean me up. It has come to purify me. It has come to challenge me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Prayer point number one. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please say it like you believe it. In the name of Jesus. I receive grace to align my mindset to that of the word of God. Every thinking pattern every thought process that is not of god i challenge you in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray father give me the mindset of victory i'm tired of carrying ideologies some of us have ideologies about church we have ideologies about praying in tongues ideologies about the holy spirit ideologies about prosperity ideologies about miracles ideologies about responsibility about marriage that are antagonistic to the ways of god the first miracle tonight is to pray i submit my mentality i submit my thought pattern please pray pray from your heart i refuse to be limited 
There is still a place for champions in life. There is still a place for the great. But you can never rise above your thought pattern. You can never rise above your ideology. You may have held on to it for years. It's time to probe your ideologies. It's time to probe your ideologies. It's time to re-examine your mindset. Let this mind be in me that was in Christ Jesus. The mindset of victory. I don't see defeat in my life. I don't see defeat with God. I am unlimited. With God, I am unbeatable. With God, I am a champion. Ay, 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 ay. Pray. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. For though I fall, yet I will rise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to challenge that spirit of laziness. Are you getting my point? Fear and laziness. Let's combine it together. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I challenge every spirit of fear. For God has not given me the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind therefore i declare that fear is banished from my life i refuse to fear and i challenge laziness from today i receive the grace to be diligent no more laziness it's time to take action lift your voice and begin to pray time to take action 2015 time to take financial steps 2015 time to take spiritual steps 2015 time to take intellectual steps Go ahead and pray. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I cause the spirit of fear, fear of death, fear of past failure, every intimidation. Inside and outside, pray, pray. I cause the spirit of fear. I cause the spirit of fear. I'm a champion. I can make it. I can break barriers. I can break barriers. I am well able. I am not weak. I am strong in the strength of the Lord. And I cause laziness. I cause laziness. Laziness to study the word. Spiritual laziness. Mental laziness. Physical laziness. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. As we pray this prayer point, my goodness, I already sense the power of God mighty way that's right as we pray this very prayer point the healing power of god will begin to move hallelujah i'm going to request those who are sick those who came specifically for healing you will find your way as hold on let's pray first before you come i'd like you to come believing that you will part with that sickness forever hallelujah the last prayer point say in the name of jesus Oh God, reveal to me 
the strategy for possessing my blessing reveal to me the strategy in the name of Jesus lift your voice and pray Lord I cry what is the strategy what is the strategy come on pray koinonia I cry unto the spirit of wisdom show me the strategy for my prosperity show me the strategy for my blessing show me the strategy for my lifting show me the strategy to get the attention of my destiny helpers show me the strategy for the church growth show me the strategy for the expansion of my business show me the strategy for five points show me strategy for first class show me the strategy to pass the jam show me the strategy yeah, 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 yeah. Show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny. Show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny. Pray. Show me the strategy. Oh, yes. The strategy is revealed in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. Make sure you are praying tonight. Show me the strategy to open me up to the next level of destiny. Show me the strategy. I'm tired of making mistakes. I'm tired of moving in circles. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. I'm tired of marking time. It's time to break forth. Hallelujah. Begin to pray now and say, God, visit me. We're going to do, the Holy Ghost will do a very quick walk. Very quick walk. Hallelujah. Those who are sick, I'd like you to come up and line up here very quickly. If you came here for the miracle service for healing, please come and line up. Ushers, help them, coordinate them. Let's have it very quickly. While that is happening, make sure you write your request. There is a mystery of answered prayer in this house. Make sure, please. If you have not written your prayer request, start writing it. I don't care what the situation is. I like you to write it and let's drop it before God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh mighty God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake of you in front i know you came here because of the testimonies you have had i want you to know that your situation will not be different are you hearing what i'm saying i want you to believe in the power of god there are certain conditions listen to me there are conditions in this place that are entirely demonic hallelujah it's going to be a fast one i don't know if we'll have time to take testimonies or not but because there i i really i really really need to rush with time and let's do a lot please if we end late today i apologize in advance we'll do our best to kill time but please wait because god has something to do in your life hallelujah praise the lord father we give you praise 
it's called a miracle service we thank you for the anointing of the spirit in the name of jesus everybody make sure you participate now if there if you have loved ones who are sick you can connect you can tell them to connect praise the lord you don't need to come out for them but you can call them or do whatever and tell them look connect to what god is doing hallelujah we bless the name of the lord worship team help us praise the lord father we give you all the praise and we trust you to glorify the name of your son right now in jesus name go ahead please who brought this lady who brought this lady who came with her please if you brought somebody let's know please we are not faking it here what's what's wrong with her legs who brought her my dear look at me what's wrong with your leg huh? you what there's a wound in my leg my leg is swollen your leg is swollen i'm looking in the spirit and i'm seeing a charm look at me what what did you say you sat in what i woke up so you woke up and you saw your leg. leg it's not a wound this is a charm in the name of jesus i break it i curse it look at me you've not been able to walk i can walk okay look at I me keep coming out look at me pause. it's coming out with pause I curse it. Look at me. Just look at me. Keep your legs. Just look at me. Don't look at your legs. Look at me. Look at me. Not, don't look at the legs. In the name of Jesus, walk. Come. come. Just come. Don't look at me. Look at me. Come. Walk. Come on. Give Jesus praise. Look at what is happening. See, she's even surprised. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Can you climb up here? Climb by yourself. It's witchcraft. Don't be afraid. Help her if she needs any help. Okay, come. Move your legs. Just do what I'm doing. Move your legs. Move your legs. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that power of witchcraft right now. I release that. Come on now, Koinonia. Give Jesus praise. God is healing people in this place. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that anyone that has orchestrated anything for you to fall into in the name of Jesus Christ this night I command those powers to be broken in the name of Jesus my dear it never returns to you again and this veil that I see over you in the spirit I command that veil to go now in the name of Jesus Christ give God praise help us worship him please let's hurry Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. I'd like to know what, what really happened to him. Tell, you are the one who brought him. No, no, no. Talk, talk on his behalf. Let's save time, please. Time. said I have been sick since 1980 1998 1998 yes is he hearing what I'm saying yes hearing okay. you can bless you daddy you can talk. since 1998 what's yes. the sickness liver liver problem liver problem sir mm. sir what what are the symptoms what happens to him okay sir my belly was swelling okay mm. I'm going to pray for you right now when I pray for you, that swelling will go down now. Now. And you'll be able to walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You are a spirit. Answer to the name of Jesus right now. I command the swollen stomach to go down right now. You see what is happening to you? In the name of Jesus. The heat sensation you're feeling is the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Heal right now. Sir, please come. Because the devil wants to use this and put stroke on you. Um, would you mind if, if I ask you to jump? Will you jump? Okay, just just try. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Just lift it as high as you can. Look at me. Don't look at the legs. Go ahead, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let's let's try. Just jump a little.
Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now walk, sir. Come. Just walk as fast as you can. As fast as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. You are healed completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I stepped here, I saw this woman tied from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. Head to toe. And I'm seeing blood all over you. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. What's wrong with her? Um, suddenly, she just grows lean like this. Mommy, There's look no at me. Ache. You will not die. Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. Just hold it. Look at me. Just look at me. Thank you, Jesus. Now I curse this power. Let mama go now. In the name of Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I curse that spirit. Let her go now. I lose you. What couldn't she do? Like Parkinson's disease. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Walk. Come. 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 Climb by yourself. Come. 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 Follow me. Just follow me, Mama. Look at this. Come on now, Koinonia. Give God praise. Can you lift your hands? See, she's laughing. Try to lift your hands, Mama. Can you lift your hands? Can you lift your hands? Is it which of the hands can she lift? Okay, go ahead. Lift, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Bring it down. Lift your hands. Come on, Koinonia. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift your legs. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. I cause that spirit. My mind is released right now. Koinonia, give God praise. Let's celebrate what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that power. Come, I need to pray for you too. Your mother, right? I pray for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because I'm seeing this thing. If I don't pray for you, it will affect you too. Right now, I curse. Lord, he's a worker in this house. Therefore, I curse that spirit. You are the sister. Lift your hands. If I don't pray for you, you have problem with marriage. You are young now, but we need to pray. This thing is the whole family thing. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. I release you from this act of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. Salvation returns to this family. Go ahead and massage her leg. Hallelujah. Please, we are going to really, really be fast. As soon as we pray for you, just give room. Usher, start collecting the prayer request. If you have somebody's picture as I come, I may not be able to talk again. And so we'll just lay our hands. Believe God. Believe God that the situation will change in Jesus' name. My God is
there is an iron in your leg oh that's what stops you from moving but can you stretch it in the name of Jesus father careful although there is an iron in your leg in the name of Jesus may there be a miracle I command this shorter leg to grow out now by the Spirit of God madam look at me do you want to try walking uh -uh. I'm not asking you what you have. You came here because you believe God can help you. Is that true? You believe that? Okay, as careful as you can, move your legs. You are, you are related to her? Come. Who are you? You are sister, madam? All right. Don't cry. Don't cry. Please. Come, madam. Do you feel pain? You feel pain because of the iron. It's difficult now for us to... But after I pray for you, can you talk to the doctors to look at your legs and look at the iron? They'll be coming on Wednesday. Okay, fine. Father, in the name of Jesus, we agree that as they come on Wednesday and check this leg, they will remove this iron and she will walk normally. Look at, look at this. Look at what the power of God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit. Let there be a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her have a seat. Please quickly, let's, let's save time. Worship team, help us. Let's not have... They will remove the iron, madam, and you will walk normally in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you. Yes, I need to pray for you, madam. Because as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing pains. I'm seeing pains, um, like abdominal pains. And the Lord is asking me to minister to you. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. Jesus, do a miracle right now. I cause that pain by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please just line them forward. Let them just come forward in the name of Jesus. I don't need to ask you what the situation is. I really want you to believe that. Praise the Lord. I, I don't want you to think that maybe if I don't ask you, it means I don't give value to you. No. It's not even me doing the miracle. Right? It's the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Hallelujah. Please rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. We're going to cause every wicked power. Please listen. Hallelujah. Look at me. I told us that one of the benefits and the blessings of prayer is the ability to cause limiting powers. It's called a miracle service. And this is January. Hallelujah. We believe in the full gospel and everything Jesus died to give. Listen, every power that has tied anyone's destiny down, it's time for it to go. Are you listening to me? Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Go ahead and pray and say, Father, every spirit that is not of God looming around my life and my family, please make sure you are praying that as the word of God comes now, there will be mighty, mighty deliverance. Lord, let there be deliverances. Break limitations over people's lives. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 The reason why the reason why we do deliverance is not is not working against the fact that Jesus says we are this and that and that it is on the strength of that the Bible says although he has put all things under his feet he said we do not yet know I hear a lot of people criticize the ministry of deliverance and all of that um, while I know that there are exaggerations here and there let me tell you something the people of God must be subjected to the full weight of all that God's power and anointing can do. are you following me now there are people who have struggled here. You love God, but doors will just not open. Let me tell you, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. And by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I'm going to minister to people right now. I see an angel of the Lord moving, and a lady is going to shout. I don't know why God does these things, 
under the anointing when that happens it's a sign that the spirit of God is ready to move and deliver people lift your hands hear me brothers and sisters it takes the power of God to subdue principalities and there are some of you right now both for you and your family there are forces that will not let you go but this night and right now my goodness there is the fire of the spirit at the count of three it's not just a recitation you're going to shout that name the name that paid access for your liberty bring up bring them out my goodness deliverance is already happening inside and outside there will be mighty angels there is the sword of the spirit lord let there be deliverance every family every destiny tied under any yoke of bondage i invoke it in the spirit that at the count of three those devils are under fire one two three come out now i command powers be gone now i cause principalities i cause spirits i cause powers inside outside the angel of the lord is moving i command witchcraft bring them out spirits of ancestry in the name of jesus the powers that have tied down man's destinies the forces that have refused to let you go right now i come with an apostolic anointing and in the name that is above all names let fire fall from heaven over your life over your academics over your marriage through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves lift your hands was he shouting one more time please bring them listen for some of you what will happen right now is not just for you alone but for your family just keep them down there hallelujah malakata and i see this affecting many ladies because i see marriage is being tied makoto tobakata sheketelekaya as you shout that name jesus you may not even know that that thing is in your family but all of a sudden physical fire physical fire will begin to burn right now on the count of three i challenge those powers one two three Go, 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 go. I cause that spirit. Delay, delay. I cause that spirit inside and outside. I command that devil of delay to go now. I command that power tying your destiny i command that power tying your breakthrough i command that power tying your family the price has been paid by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i release marriages i release miracles i command breakthrough fire is burning i command breakthrough i set those altars on fire i set those covens on fire hallelujah lift your hands where are those who have been oppressed academically lord where are they there are people who would have moved forward 
as I speak right now, fire is coming on people. Fire is coming. Release the academics now. Release the academics now. Release the academics now. 2015, the year of the rain. Release the academics now. I command those powers. I challenge them. They must lead one. There is a family the Lord is showing me. You have been under stagnation for 10 years. 10 solid years. But as I prophesy right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command that family to be released now. I command that family to be released now. I command that family to be released now. Hallelujah. In the name that is above all names, I pray and I prophesy. The Lord is showing me men whose hands have been tied. And, and see, when your hands are tied, it means the capacity for favor and the capacity to move forward is not there. Lift your hands. Some of you will feel physical fire. Physical fire on your hands. There are chains burning. Lord, where are they? Let the sword of favor break them free from every oppression. Right now as I speak, anyone whose hands are tied in the spirit, I command those hands to be loose now. I command those hands to be loose now. The fire is falling, falling, falling inside and outside, falling. I break the chain. My goodness, there are angels outside. The fire is falling. Chains of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one minute, lift up the exact situation you want God to change. Begin to talk to him. Go ahead before prophecy comes. Please don't keep quiet. No matter how impossible it is, there is an anointing. Inside and outside, make sure you are talking to the Lord. This and that and that are my requests. Do a miracle. Some of you need a 24 hour miracle. Now, all those here in front, in the name of Jesus and by the fire of the Holy Spirit, at the count of three not only will those devils leave they must release your family members i speak to every spirit you know my voice i represent the embassy of heaven and in the name of jesus at the count of three you will leave now one two three go 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 never to return never to return never to return Never to return. Go. Go. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this request. Your requests are there. Please, in case you've not dropped yours, locate it quickly to the ushers. It's not a ritual. There is a mystery of answered prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible says how that Ezekiah took the request before God. The threats may be joblessness it may be impossible situations as i kneel upon this request and we pray together just for one or two minutes see i assure you i assure you you will return with a testimony 
except you refuse to come and testify stretch your hands and begin to pray thank you Jesus that you came here with. Remember last week we thought that words activate spiritual laws. Hallelujah. I want you to receive. For some of you there will be an instant performance in the name of Jesus. I want to start by praying for families. Every family that has been in a state of stagnation. Please lift your hands inside and outside. I'm prophesying now. Every family represented in this place in the name of Jesus Christ in this year of the rain I command that between now and next month miracle service let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs By the agency of the spirit we activate every law that needs to be in motion in the name of jesus the laws of favor the laws of destiny help us in the name of jesus i pray anyone here who has been under any academic bondage from secondary school to master's phd right now in this year of the rain i command speed for you i declare move forward now move forward now make progress now move forward now in the name of jesus i pray for anything that has died in your hands business the works of your hands relationships in the name that is above all names let resurrection happen in your life now please believe what i'm saying believe what i'm saying god is changing people's situations this is how god changes situations by the power of his prophetic word i say it again whatever has died I speak to that which was dead. Come back to life now. I command every blood condition, whoever is standing here and you are SS, right now, we change that genotype to AA. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I cause hepatitis be crushed to the root in the name of Jesus we cause HIV you leave God's people in the name of Jesus everyone here who has been oppressed by spirits you sleep in the night and they oppress you in the name of Jesus let the fire of the Holy Ghost bring deliverance to you now Ay, yeah, yeah. let the fire of the Holy Spirit bring deliverance to you now there are people here it works for others until it gets to your turn then it fails right now in the name of Jesus I command that the last time that tragedy happened in your life the power of God is moving on this word moving strong on this word the last time it happened the mystery behind that tragedy I cause it in the name of Jesus I declare that in this January between now and next month's miracle service what you could not do in the whole of 2014 may my God empower your hand to do it in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every dying CGPA here. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I command it to come alive. There are people here, students, your true status is first class, but something has tied you down. Your true status is four points, but something has tied, whatever that something is, I lift it off your life now. In this year 2015 go back to your departments and break barriers in the name of Jesus I pray for every business here whatever has stopped it from working in the name of Jesus we command it to come alive now whoever needs to come into your life between now and next miracle service and open a door for you I call them forth now I call them forth now I declare whoever is jobless and looking for a job here or your family members in the name that is above all names where they said there are no jobs we create jobs now believe it believe it we create jobs now in the name of Jesus Christ whoever has been assigned by my father to favor you and has refused to respond to you in the name of Jesus may the Lord compel them to respond in the name of Jesus I pray for your spiritual life whatever has robbed you of an effective prayer life every worry everything that has robbed you I command fresh impartation of prayer grace receive it now fresh impartation of prayer fire whatever makes you study the Bible and you don't understand may the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now and I pray for you every habit in your life masturbation pornography and any other thing that is not of God that has robbed you of your Christian integrity you love God but you find things pushing you that embarrass you right now I agree with you be delivered now I agree with you be delivered now hallelujah whoever is being eyed for death in this place that the devil has vowed that you will not see February miracle service and praying by the mystery of the blood I open that door of gate of, of death and I command in the name of Jesus that your soul is ransomed from the gates of death 
in the forthcoming election you are preserved in the name of jesus whoever comes to destroy you will die before he gets to you in the name of jesus as you travel on the road you are preserved you cannot be a victim of accident in the name of jesus i establish the covenant of peace upon your life you are protected by the angels of heaven i declare right now that in 2015 living from hand to mouth that spirit of begging living from hand to mouth by the mystery of divine supply i bail you out of that wicked situation in the name of jesus i pray for you whatever you wrote here as a request right now i agree with you that it is turned into a testimony i say it one more time whatever you wrote here as a request i agree with you we turn it into a testimony by the power that turned the rod of moses into a serpent and back into a rod i turn what was here as a as a prayer request by the power of the holy ghost let it become a testimony in your hands in the name of jesus every factor that must be in place for you to stand here and testify i release it in the name of jesus i pray we pray for our lecturers every lecturer that has been victimized and any lecturer that the devil is eyeing to bury this year in the name of jesus by the mystery of the blood they are preserved i'm speaking any position that belongs to any god-fearing lecturer that is being truncated by powers of darkness we stand as the parliament of heaven in this city and we enforce compliance in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you if there is one thing that should happen in your life let it be indescribable favor 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 i prophesy from the depths of my heart if you have never seen favor happen in your life you will see favor that will make you cry financial favor marital favor academic favor spiritual favor receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your hands and bless the lord thank you jesus hallelujah now you're here you've never given your heart to the lord jesus you've never made him lord of your life we're out of time please keep standing everybody let's honor these people you are here and you have never given your life to christ remember we said the basis for your victory is what jesus christ has done wherever you are or you have once given your life to christ but for some reason you found your life going haywire and you need to make your ways right don't say time is gone please wherever you are inside or outside you might be a new student you've been a christian all your life or you may be new in this town i pray right now that you respond to the call of god wherever you are you are returning to jesus or you are making decisions for the first time please make your way to the front be bold about it be bold about it i know god is talking to somebody don't wait for anybody to come you are the first person find your way to the front god bless you god bless you please make sure you celebrate them as they come celebrate them god bless you those outside no matter how far you are make your way to the front jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men i will be ashamed of you before my father if you deny me before men young and old make your way you are not too far don't let the devil say you are far make your way run to the front run to the front forget about your neighbor or who you came with it's a personal affair tonight hallelujah thank you so much for coming lift your hands as i leave you to pray say after me jesus i believe in you i believe you died for me tonight i repent of my sins 
I obtain forgiveness and cleansing. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that I'm a changed person. The power of sin is broken over my life. And I'll never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Now keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you. You brought these ones to your throne. May their decisions be genuine. Preserve them by the power of the Holy Spirit. They will never be the same. I break the power of sin over your life. You have eternal life into your spirit. And I declare that you are of the family of faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now I'd like you to follow the ushers. Follow the gentlemen waving their hands. All of you this way. They will give you a few informations. And you'll be back to your seat. God bless you brother. Join them and they will lead you into that place. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.